right. We've been talking about doing that for a while. <laughs> yeah. We finally got it in. <laughs> we'll see if it works. <laughs> we finally got the slow clap. Uh, slow clap in. Slow clap in. Okay, so how late were you up last night? <sighs> you mean... You just can't help yourself. You mean what time you? did I go to bed this morning? <laughs> <laughs> it was a problem. I, well, I had to watch UFC fights when I got home. So I started drinking. And I don't know. The sun was at least creeping up. Ooh. Yeah, it was bad. It was, was, there, was there Madden 21 involved? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was so playing Madden. UFC bourbon in Madden. Madden. Yeah, okay. A few a uh, few butt heavies in there. All right, all right. <laughs> Not yeah. too bad. Maybe some Fruit Loops with an extra kick. Oh, okay. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> all right, all right. So Bass is bourbon. We're back, <laughs> uh, and we're going to be weird, and we're going to try to take it a little easy. Imagine that. <laughs> Six bourbons. <laughs> and, and we're taking it easy. That's taking it easy for the bastards of bourbon. <laughs> uh, basically, what we did for this tasting is we pulled out a bunch of stuff from the uh, bastards collection that we just haven't tried yet. Yep. So. And, and I'm excited for it because uh, they're, they're, I think they're going to be a lot different type of bourbons here. And bourbons that maybe people haven't heard of. So, uh, yeah, this tasting is going to be a fun tasting. Yeah, and I think I phrased that wrong. They're bourbons that we may have tried, but we haven't done on the podcast yes. yet. Yeah. yeah. And I'm dr- right now I'm drinking this rare breed rye that you brought over, and it's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even going to add a cube to it. It's good just how it is. Nice, spicy, black yep. pepper. Yep. Honey. Yeah. Honey. Good stuff. Great mouthfeel. Yeah. Yep. Delicious mouthfeel. Um, it is a wild turkey product. It is there like higher echelon? I believe it's minimum age six years. I think it says it on the label there. Um, but you know, people hear wild turkey and they kind of think, ah, you know, it's a low end bourbon. But no, they're putting out phenomenal products. The Russells. I don't think that. You don't think that? I like it a lot. Yeah, yeah. it's really good. Number I don't think it's low end, but I don't see. I don't see the aging on here but it is 112.2 proof number four char it's Beauties. phenomenal Beauties. I actually i want to try their regular rare beat i keep thinking about buying that as yeah. well yeah i think it's a good it, i mean it's it's a little on the expensive side that was 64 yeah which honestly i don't think that's that bad for this yeah i really don't it's like throwing some pepper into some honey mm-hmm. dipping some Ooh. Chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. We, we forgot sh- to introduce Brady. I was just going to say we uh, we should announce we have Bolger times three here. <laughs> yes. So yes, we have Brady Bolger in the house. Thank you for coming. Sure. Are you excited? Yeah, very excited. Are you nervous? Yeah, <laughs> I'm very nervous. He sounds yeah. a little nervous. <laughs> Things could go downhill very quickly. It could, yeah. it could, and will. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, no, P- no, Pam I'm is excited. actually back in the studio for the first time in forever. Peanut Gallery, <laughs> Peanut Gallery, Pam, <laughs> Peanut Gallery, Pam. That's a great name. Yeah, that should be a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I I am uh, very very excited to do this podcast. Obviously, um, I'm always excited to do a podcast with with you my man absolutely um there's i mean there's not much more that we enjoy i think than this no (laughs) although you do other podcasts although i don't want to believe that you do (laughs) like sometimes cheating on me uh, honestly and one it's it's pretty much been this and mma fools right now gathering of fools is kind of taking a back seat for now i try to get some other shit done but i still don't have any fucking time so what difference does it make (laughs) but it makes it it makes it extra special uh to have my oldest uh son next to me and uh, to enjoy this bourbon and that we know of that we know of right there, <laughs> there is the columbus family but we don't speak of that um but she's right there just yeah, <laughs> she's come to she's come to grips with it she, oh, likes okay. it. <laughs> she likes it she's like he leaves for a while every now and then it's nice <laughs> uh but he he is I always say he's an old soul, which is a total compliment. Yeah, it's, I don't know how I feel about that. I think, yeah. yeah, I think it's a compliment. It is. It's one hundred percent a compliment. It's a, yeah. it's a compliment. His bourbon knowledge and uh, just his um, palate for bourbon is yeah. is really uh, very very 
uh, beyond his years. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know that like at I at least two years beyond my years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I get credit for that. Yeah. I will take some credit for it. I think we um, should take a good bit. But yeah, I mean, I, 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 he's right up there with Pat and Manny. Any of the credit? Uh, you know, you could give mom a little bit of credit. She's for the look at her. Over there, she over there drinking bourbon. bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> There's Diet Coke in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that part is weird. <laughs> but she has been known to uh, drink some straight. And actually, is, is she going to ever be on an episode? Yeah. Well, I, I, we got to do, uh, we have to have Pam and Wendy Manfresca together. Yeah. I think that's four good. of yeah, us. Yeah, that's probably a mistake. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> it is it, it is probably it, it'll be the worst decision Dave and I have ever made we should do like we should do like it, it will get the most listened and views <laughs> we should do like 15 bourbons on that one. <laughs> no, 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 no. try and break no. a record <laughs> yeah let's break Ten a record bourbons and then five tequilas after the bourbon Ooh. oh it's got to be really good tequila for me to get on board. Otherwise, I'll just throw up right here at the table. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, well, yeah. 1942. That's, so it's our only choice. 1942. Ooh. Class A Azul Reposado. Yeah. I could handle those. Yeah. Then uh, and, and we we should make them all big boy bourbons. <laughs> <laughs> so you ready, Pam? Yeah. I <laughs> Let's go. She ready. <laughs> all right. She uh, ready. I guess we should work down the list. I'll yeah. hit the hit it. first three, and you'll get the last three. We're starting with one that I've had on the shelf here for quite a while. Uh, it is a wine cask finish. It is straight edge bourbon whiskey, I believe, out of California. Yeah. Uh, finished and bottled by Splinter Group, Napa, California. And where did you get that, Dave? I got it at Wintersville Kroger. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, then we got your one of your additions, the old elk. Yep. Which uh, I remember trying towards the end of the podcast last time. Yep. I'm excited to try it again, though. I know you have spoke very highly about it. Yeah. Uh, really, really like it. Actually, I it's out of it's out of Colorado. Okay. Yeah. And it's got one of the cooler tops. Yeah, really cool um, cork top. Uh, 88 proof, I believe. Uh, yeah, 88 proof, 2018 gold winner at the San Francisco International Spirits Competition. That's a hard one to win. Uh, is it? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should just make up our own competition. People yeah. should send us the bottles. Yeah. The first annual Bastards of Bourbon uh, International Whiskey Drinking. Yeah, that would probably be hard to win. <laughs> that would be hard to win. It's, I mean, I'm telling you, it, it, prestigious. We'd have to try, like, what, 25 in a day? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just make it like a seven-hour marathon. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Film it all. <laughs> At one point, we're just laying across the, yes. the, the chairs. <laughs> Why did he drop trowel? <laughs> I had to pee. <laughs> he has no pants on. <laughs> All right, I forgot to mention the straight edge, I believe, is, yeah, 84 proof. And then we have uh, Hotel Tango Bourbon Ready to Drink. So this is actually ready. Uh, it is. <laughs> there's a lot on here. It, it, it is, it's a lot. It's a busy label. It's a busy label. You know what? I might read this once we get to it instead of doing it now, but it is 90 proof. Um, I have had this before. I believe that we will be smelling and tasting some cherry okay if i can remember what where but. where is it from because i don't i'm not familiar with that bourbon um indianapolis indiana okay hotel tango distillery boy right. and, and and i'll tell you what here's what i love about this tasting so far so we've got um straight Cal california, california colorado, colorado. Indiana. Indiana. Tennessee. Oh. Bib and Tucker. Not to be confused with... Um, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know. Tur Turner and Hooch? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I do love that movie, who were though. The, who were the two guys in Miami Vice? Don Johnson and... Uh, what, what were their names? I don't know. Damn it. All right, All right Jacob, Miami pull Vice. it up. Pull it up. <laughs> I'm, I'm challenging you early. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
James Crockett and Ricardo Crockett Tubbs. And Tubbs. Crockett, Crockett and Tubbs. And Tubbs. <laughs> so this bourbon is now being renamed to Crockett and, and Tubbs. <laughs> Did we we just renamed a bourbon? Uh, yes. Can we do that? Uh, I think we can. Okay. All right. It's 92 <laughs> proof. It's 92 proof. It's aged six years. And as I mentioned, it is a Tennessee product. Uh, and these are lined up according to proof. Next up, we have the Knob Creek 12. 100 proof. Uh, delicious product. And we are rounding it out with Kentucky. We are. So, yeah, Kentucky, obviously. And then Maker's Mark, also Kentucky. Uh, we classify this as a big boy bourbon. 110 boy. proof. Cash strength. Don't don't be nervous. About so, it. how high does it have to be for it to be a big boy? Over. Well, we really over do 100, 100 or over. Yeah. yeah. 100 okay. or over. So technically, the so just one big boy here. Uh, we'll we'll we'll, we'll classify this. Yeah, here. we usually we'll, I, I, we usually don't even we don't bring it up unless it's over a hundred typically. Yeah. But I would say a hundred's a yeah. big boy. I think the highest proof that we've done was one thirty four, right around there. Um, yeah, I what is it? Is yeah, it that's Stag? That's a very big boy. Is it Stag Junior? I think so. I feel like that Stag was somewhere in that neighborhood. It's sixty four, so. That's 128. 128. That knob maybe, creek is maybe. 127. So so maybe maybe that might be the highest. Yeah, it might be. Because I can't think of what would have been one. One. Yeah. I, can't I, I, I might be thinking of the Blanton's, uh, I believe it's the Blanton's barrel proof. That's 130-something. Okay. Yeah. Which we should be getting a Blanton's gold. I feel pretty confident that I'm going to be able to score that. That would be awesome. Yeah. I would really love to try another bland product, and at a decent price, I think. Nice. We're talking maybe one fifty. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah, somewhere in that neighborhood. I don't so, think I've heard of Blanton's Gold. So Blanton's Gold uh, is same bottle, but the shinier. Label gold. The label, the label is gold, and the horse is gold. How yeah. how cool is that? Is the bourbon the same? No, it's a, it's okay. a um, it's, it's a higher proof. Higher proof. So, you get, so with the proof, you're either going to carry over more of the same flavor, or you, maybe it's yeah. a different flavor. And I, really and I don't know. think it's around one fifteen, one seventeen. Yeah, I'm excited. And then for the that. Blanton's barrel strength is one thirty something. I'm also excited that we got that fucking E.H. Taylor straight rye coming. Yeah, we definitely have another rye tasting on our hands. Yes, we do. All we right, forgot let's the, get we forgot the High West double rye. Right, we I forgot mean the High West. Um, you, we now have this. We can add to it. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll find some more rise. Yes. There, there will be no shortage. And we have some that we didn't even do here uh, on the ride tasting. Oh, it looks like I'm going heavy to start. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know why. I never even bring out that jigger anymore. I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. Just pour it in there. <laughs> what, am I going to prevent myself from getting yeah, drunker like an extra 10 minutes early? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. And I'm sliding it back your way. Boom. Okay, straight edge. Straight edge. Wood. You have wood? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that inappropriate? <laughs> no, but I no. wish you I wish you would start talking about how you got your dick out of your underwear when you have to pee. <laughs> Listen, I'm because that's appropriate. I'm wearing that same style of underwear today too. So, but I figured it out now. I got it down. He went in great detail. Yeah, I don't know. Great detail. <laughs> it was a it was a difficult situation. Yeah. I was very confused. That that five minutes of that podcast just I don't know where that went. But Manny and I were we're we're talking about chewed up bubble gum, and then you come out of the bathroom and you're talking about how you had to get your dick out of your underwear. Yeah. Well, because the 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 the, the, the Flap pull out area was different. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't know. It was the first time I'd wore these underwear and went to the bathroom. I was like, wait, what's going on? How do I? I panic. <laughs> I thought there's just kind of one. He said there was a shelf. Flap, <laughs> instead of whatever that means. Instead of like going this way, uh -huh. you got to go this way. That's, that's insane. Where'd that's... you get these from? <laughs> Walmart. Fruit of the Loom. <laughs> I would hey. stay away from from that section. But they're wherever actually, you got they're that. actually very comfortable. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, just took some. You know, I panicked. Out then. I panicked for a second. I fell into the bathtub. 
But I'm getting wood is basically what I get from that. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I definitely get the caramel. I mean, that goes without saying. I feel like it's almost with any bourbon we try. But I, I kind of get a little bit of honey on the, on the smell. Yeah? I'm getting wood and char. I feel like if there's wood, I, I need to try it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There was there was a lot there was a lot of ways to go with that. <laughs> yeah, I Brady just, went, just said okay. Yeah, I just went with okay. <laughs> there was a few different think he, things running through my head. I think but. he looked at me. and He's like, Dad, are you okay with this? <laughs> yeah, whatever it is, it tastes good. So there's not a lot of um, lingering. Like the mouthfeel is just okay for me. Yeah, it's not completely thin, but it's thin. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, that's nice. But but it, it definitely is a is a good flavored like um, I like the the initial flavor of this bourbon. Yeah, mm-hmm. but, but it, it, uh, I I'm just getting I maybe I ruined my mouth last night, but <laughs> it, I'm getting <laughs> <laughs> could go a lot of ways with that too. Son but. of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible podcast. <laughs> <laughs> TVMA. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I'm getting just more wood and char on the palate, but it's good. I, d- I definitely get a lot of wood. I'm, I'm right there with you. No? Yeah. What, uh, I don't really know what wood tastes like. Like, I don't think I've ever described something as, like, woody. Pick up the bowl, lick, lick it, it a few times. <laughs> you no. can take a bite out of it if you want to. <laughs> Is that what it's there for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just it to, might be. <laughs> just, That's just to you know, uh, get your palate adjusted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I could see it though. The uh, char kind of made more sense to me. Yeah. I, like I see that. Yeah, definitely get the char. I'm gonna add some water. The it's uh, like this is good. It's an easy drinker. I think I will be disappointed. If this took number one, I'd be like, man, that's the worst tasting we've ever yeah. had. <laughs> it's a bad tasting. Uh, it's interesting, um, you know, when you look at some of these notes. Uh, I get more of the caramel when I, I don't get, water. Yeah, I don't get the fruit. Do you get any fruit? I don't get it. No. I definitely got more car- caramel once I added the water on the nose. You drank it all before you yeah, could get I, water. Yeah, I drank the whole thing. <laughs> That's okay. Rookie mistake. It happens. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I can't say we haven't done it. Actually, Jeff dumped the whole eyedropper into his glass before. Oh, so. <laughs> What's the uh, MSRP on this, Dave? I want to say 45 or 50 Okay. So at this price point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say... Not sure. I'd, I'd I'd buy it. It's not a great um, price point. It's not it's not an awful price point, but it's I'm not sure I would buy it either. Yeah. I mean, obviously I did, but right ag- again. But <laughs> I mean, we're purchasing for the purpose of trying. Po- yeah, trying for yeah. the podcast for that diamond in the rough. Yeah. How many drops of? Um, uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, whatever you. <laughs> two, three. It just depends on how uh, what kind of trip you want to take, man. <laughs> Three. Three. Strong. <laughs> and it's I feel like this is the perfect bourbon to start this podcast out on because this is not a bad bourbon by any stretch. No. No. Like I said, the only way I'd be disappointed if it ended up being my number one. Yeah. I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> and it's one that that uh I'll try again because I didn't hate it. Right. It's not a Yellowstone. It's not a Statesman. Yeah. It's not a um, Larson Evan, Evan Williams uh, S- barrel. S- single barrel. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's, it's definitely not a Larceny. Uh, <clears throat> I will say this makes me think of another idea for a tasting is doing Finnish bourbons where they're f- – all bourbons finished in wine cask yeah. or or yeah. however else. Oh, that's right. And I forgot. So this is... Um, it doesn't say what kind of wine or any like that or anything like but that. But that's kind of what drew you to it, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we, uh, you know, I love the Groth, Jefferson Groth cask. Yeah. The Pritchard, Pritchard Hill, Hill is pretty decent. Yeah, um, the uh, Jefferson... 
uh, Groth or whatever it's called. That's yeah. uh, that's my favorite bourbon of all time. It's phenomenal. Yeah, it took my number one in the Jefferson tasting. Yeah. I was the only one that put it number one. It's tough for me these days. That sometimes I think about that cash ocean 21 cash strength because it's fucking good yeah <laughs> every time i have that cash strength yeah. now i'm like did i mess up no and i'll never be able to compare them again yeah but i i don't think you did because the bottom line is uh, like when we did that tasting every one that we had mm-hmm. they're all oh. so good yeah we all enjoyed it yeah oh napa nice, cabernet Jacob. bottles nice just doesn't give us which one but i didn't even know it was cabernet bottles so that's nice Barrels, bottles, fuck. I should have taken some <laughs> alpha brain. Uh, <laughs> Prevagen, Prevagen. <laughs> what do they give old people for their brain? Polished mahogany. Mm. I like the sound of that. I do too. I mean, it sounds fancy. It's but a I don't color. Know. Oh, that's a color? Okay, yeah. good. Because I didn't want anything polished in my bourbon. <laughs> it sounds poisonous. I got a way too heavy. So, we're... Uh, changing places you have limp wrists today yeah very flaccid <laughs> <laughs> i'll uh i'm gonna give that to you guys while i finish drinking the straight edge okay <clears throat> and uh it's sad that this is gonna be number two but we're doing it by proof yep so we're, we gonna, always we're, do. we're gonna stay true to our word uh 88 proof old elk as dave mentioned earlier a san francisco gold medal winner 2018 uh, found this product online, read some reviews about it, and I, I mean, I guess I'm biased because I bought it, but my God, I think it's, it is really, really good. Well, you, you said it wasn't, you ran it up against Blanton's the other night at your house. I did. And you said it was not as good, but it held That's, its own. Held its own. That's like blasphemy in our I know. house. <laughs> it is. I mean, the uh, amount of, Blanton's, Blanton's bottles, but uh, not only bottles, but just like memorabilia that's <laughs> yeah. around the house. It's he he's kind sent, of absurd. He sent me a picture of uh, the Glen Cairns he bought in the in the first two were Blanton's, so I thought they were all Blanton's. I was like, where yeah. did you get those? <laughs> I will say it's funny because every once in a while, me or Steve will text the other and be like, "Taste some Blanton's tonight." It's still the best. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's like true. once a month. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every time I think, uh, you know, I, and, it, it, and it makes me sad because I think I'm going to find a bourbon that's better than Blanton's. And then I think, oh, my gosh, this might be it. And then I and, and then of course, I have to cross taste. Right. And then I'm like, well, all right, let me have the Blanton's and make sure. And I'm like, nope, Blanton's is better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, uh, I forgot to tell you, too, that Bean may have a bead on George T. Stag, Ooh. 350, Ooh. which I think might be reasonable for that. I think Bean should donate that bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too much to ask? Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, whatever. You know what I mean? I'm throwing it out there. <laughs> I know he's going to listen to this. You went a little heavy over there. Yeah, I don't know. Did I? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's... I don't know how to pour. <laughs> no, none of us do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so where did you get this at? I don't okay. think I've seen this. At so I got it online from some crazy site called Wally's Wine. I was about to be like, from some crazy that, woman. That sounds like not a <laughs> yeah. real I, site. I, I, it, I didn't think it was. I thought it was, uh, you know, dark internet. Yeah. And sure as shit, they, Wally came through. <laughs> Wally World? Also out of California, just outside of Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Wally World and Wally's Wine. <laughs> All right. All so right. this is so, from California? Is that no, what? No, it's so from it's Colorado. Colorado. The bottle itself. Okay, yeah. Colorado. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Still, uh, I didn't know that they made bourbon that far west. Like, I thought it was yeah. kind of oh, yeah. this, this one was California. Oh, that one was California. Yeah, okay. this one is Colorado. Yeah. yeah, we're we, we are we are working west to east. I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, which is kind of cool. But it's I remember tr- things. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of cool, but it's true. We're working west to east here. Oh, huh? How about that? That's it. I like it. Crazy coincidence. It is. It is very crazy. Is, is Tennessee more west than Kentucky? 
Uh, I think Tennessee is. I think they're <laughs> on top of each yeah, other. Tennessee. Hey, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> we All had right. a good thing going. <laughs> <laughs> We have we have nine bourbons here. Nine bourbons. <laughs> it's an inside joke. No well, one's gonna get that. They're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. What would we do without Jacob? Though, <laughs> just correcting us all the time. Right. <laughs> now I, I feel like you have to pull up the math. I mean, West is a manta- I, I, like a mentality. I feel like it. I think it is slightly West. I think it's. I think they're directly on top of west. each other. Oh man, they oh, are directly on top. of each other. I got you, on top I got you Jacob. I got you. <laughs> Which tip is further? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the Tennessee tip is uh, definitely west. further west. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's very close. Yeah. <laughs> it is close. Yeah, yeah. Fuck you, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, the barbs are being thrown <laughs> early. I, don't, I'm, I feel unsafe. <laughs> uh, Jacob and I uh, sat at the same lunch table for three years in high school. It was. I'll be right back. It's the best time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Eating stale nachos. Yeah, and uh, Bosco sticks. Bosco sticks. Ooh, nothing like the Bosco sticks. Uh. Lil Charlie's. Lil Charlie's. Here's how sad this is. Okay, so you guys graduated 20... Well, Brady graduated 2016. You were 2015, Jacob. So, boy, is it good. So, I graduated in 1989. And you know what we had for lunch? Lil Charlie's. (laughs) Lil Charlie's. Lil, Lil. Oh, the Bosco sticks were so good. Lil, L-I-L. Like, they were horrible, but they were so yeah. good. And I would venture to say that there were probably some of the same women working in that kitchen. <laughs> definitely. <Probably. laughs> definitely. Lovely. Oh. oh, yeah. There we go. I mean, don't just... I mean, it, almost like you disregard it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, it's I'm good. <laughs> I don't know, but I love that face you're making. <laughs> Uh, I definitely get the oak. I don't get the malted barley. No, I don't either. I see a little fruit in there. I, I mean, I love the nose on this. Yeah, you, the so nose you is compared great. This to it's actually nose. why. I, yeah. It's actually where I went. I had to wash my hands because before this podcast, I put some lotion on my hands, and I kept getting all the smell from the lotion. It was driving me nuts. Thank, so just, that's thank God it was just the lotion because I, I didn't know where you were going with that and I was starting to get a little bit scared. Scared. Listen, just don't look at my browser history. So Jacob, pull it up. I, I get the, I get the caramel for sure. Yeah. Um, to me, it's a really good mouth feel. I think that's why I like this bourbon so much is the mouth feel. Yeah, you keep saying that. I don't. You don't, you don't really know get what it? that means. So if it sticks in your mouth and it's like oily, buttery, yeah. and, it, and there's there's like a it, and it kind of hangs Ooh. there after you swallow Spicy. it. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, and it, like some of them will feel very thin. Some of them will uh-huh. feel thicker. I get I, I get nice little spice in there. Yeah. That's excellent. And, and 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 I think that's part of it, Dave. You just hit on it unintentionally. Yeah. Um, there, it, it's the combo of it. So, it, it has just a, a hint of the spiciness. Yeah. But there's the back end flavor of the oak and the caramel. That's I think what I enjoy about it is it's it's a good blend. Let's call it. In the words of Pat Spees, it has some depth. Yeah, it definitely does. It does linger. That's I'm gonna. Nice. I'm yeah. gonna. Uh, can you pass me uh, the bottle? Because yeah. I drank it and didn't put water. In. <laughs> Daddy likey. I gotta be honest with you though. I think my winner so far is this rare breed rye. <laughs> Don't. I, I would have to agree with okay. you. Okay. I had it last night and it was rule number. Was good. Rule number two hundred and thirty. You can't bring in a bourbon into the bourbon tasting that's not in the oh. tasting. It's so he good. <laughs> It's, it's just so good when it hits your lips. <laughs> I got it. It's going to be a long Sunday. <laughs> You're telling me I got another podcast to do. Oh, God. 
And I gotta talk what? about maybe the most dominant fighter ever. <laughs> He's been in three fights. He's won them all within seconds and has not had a punch landed on him. Wow. In the UFC. Who's this? That's Same. easy. That's easy. <laughs> His name is, uh, what is it, Kazmat? Kazmat Chimeev. He is Swedish. In the cage, he is... I'm already scared. In the cage, he's very scary. And then outside of the cage, he's like, uh, yes, I <laughs> won the fight by um, punching That's him. That's even scary. <laughs> yeah. It's a little serial killer. He's got a crazy hair lip. He's intense. <laughs> <laughs> this was supposed to be his real test. Only three punches have been thrown on him altogether. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. I don't know a lot about... Uh, uh, UFC or anything like that, but yeah. anytime I watch a match, uh, whoever I'm with, I'll ask them, how long do you think I could last in the ring if I was purely not trying to get murdered and they were trying to murder me? So if you were in there with Chimeyev, I would just Just like say, running around. I wouldn't say run around. I'd say hop over the fence and right. get the fuck out of and there. And that's what I always <laughs> say. That's what I always say. Like, yeah. like... I can get out and just start running. Mm-hmm. They can chase me. Mm-hmm. So I think I could last 20 seconds before I was. Oh, I don't. He's got a fight that he's got a fight that's only with against a professional fighter that only lasted 20 some seconds. Right. I have no clue. I think so. I think he has a fight with a professional that only lasted yeah. 20 some seconds. So okay. I don't know. One. Well, yeah, but he can't. <laughs> he can't get out of the ring. though. He can't escape. <laughs> Why? Is he chained up? What kind of fucking draconian shit is this? No, no, no. Like, I mean, he can't climb out of there. <laughs> I could do that in my hypothetical scenario. But why can't he climb? Oh, he can. <laughs> but he's not involved in this. <laughs> well, I hate to divert this conversation. <laughs> no, but no, no. It's probably better that this bourbon. That you do. This bourbon... Um, I put some water in it. It is just, again, I think I'm biased, but I really, really like this bourbon. I actually really like it a lot as well. Very smooth. Uh, To me, there's no bite whatsoever. No. No, it's incredibly smooth. It's not. You don't get alcohol on it. Um, I get, like, some toffee. um, I think that's actually what I get more than the caramel, actually, is toffee. Very enjoyable. And shock shocked about it because it's a Colorado product. Right. I, I haven't had a Colorado bourbon that I've liked and I've only, I mean, it's probably maybe the third one I've had. Yeah. But, but this one I really like. It seems like everywhere is getting better though. I mean, like fucking New York with Widow Jane. Yeah. I can't wait to taste their actual product instead of their blend. I know. I'm excited for that. I yeah, wonder when that's it, coming out. It, it should be soon. I feel like it should be in the next next year. I'll tell you what, Widow Jane, if it's not good, just keep blending. Right. Because your blend is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, the other uh, somewhat popular bourbon out of Colorado, Breckenridge, makes a vodka and a bourbon. Mm. And it's just called Breckenridge. And we were there on a summer trip. How many years ago, Pam? Seven, eight years ago? Yeah. And they, they just opened up a tasting room in downtown Breckenridge. So, of course, we're walking by. I was like, and they were doing free tastings. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. Let me swing through this <laughs> <Yeah>. real quick. <laughs> we're going in there. All, all of a sudden, Pam's like, Steve? <laughs> Where'd Steve go? <laughs> so, uh, I tried it, like, in, in, in its infancy. And, and it is good. But uh, this, this is a, a level up, I think. For sure. Uh, I haven't had the Breckenridge. Uh, I know people say good things about Breckenridge, yeah. though. Uh, it gets some pr- pretty decent ratings. Yep. It's another bottle. That, Solid. It's another bottle that's actually over there at Wintersville. Yeah. Yeah. Always, it seems like they're, it's always there. Yeah. I don't think they've ever, what I don't do, think they've ever sold through it. What do you think about this, Brady? And if I you don't like good. it, it's fine. No. Um, I thought the first one, honestly, was almost as good as this one. I think this one's a little bit better, but... I like the first one a lot, but uh, uh, this one, I feel like it doesn't taste uh, that much different when you add water to it. I thought the first one tasted a lot different, different after I added water to it. Yeah, or uh, uh, the ecstasy, I mean. But, <laughs> but I guess most things would taste different if you 
add ecstasy. Put ecstasy into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine. It's got a weird flavor. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and our whole point on why we do the water is because, as I'm sure you know, with uh, watching bourbon pot, or not podcast, but bourbon documentaries, I'm sure you've yeah, been Yeah, all the, the documentaries room. I've watched on bourbon. You know, they add the water... <laughs> They add the water because it's it, it will bring out some flavors that you might not get otherwise. Yeah, typically. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't work. Sometimes not, it makes it worse. Right. Like it's to me, it's weird when you add water and all of a sudden you get more alcohol, but it happens. Yeah. Really. Yeah. yeah. You think it would dilute? I it feel more. like that uh, rare breed probably tastes better without any water in it. I don't know if you've tried it. But I'm not putting water in that. It's yeah. just gonna sit over here like a little baby. Right. <laughs> it's a little. It's a little baby. It's a little Mickey. A little Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So we're gonna move on to uh, the um, whatever tango and <laughs> tango yeah, and I cash. Was, tango and cash. <laughs> Hooch. I was really confused when you were introducing that one. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, it, Hotel Tango the is the ever. distillery. Bourbon Ready to Drink is the name. Yeah, like, it's, what is that? It says a lot on here. Distilled with discipline. American straight bourbon whiskey. Pour with purpose. High standard issue. Serve with honor. Uh, yeah, if you got... Listen, I don't know. I got low um, expectations. Yeah, expectations for this one. I, I want bourbon that's distilled with honor. No discipline. With recklessness. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I don't want it distilled in with discipline. discipline. Yeah. <laughs> and if they have to say that on there, I don't even know right. if they're using discipline. Like, I mean, are, are they whipping people on the on the assembly line? I think I think it's right. probably right. Uh, it's probably owned by military people, I would say. Uh, maybe veterans. Uh, then it goes purpose of contents to be served and consumed in pursuit of elevated company morale. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know about that. All right, I'm out. <laughs> you want to switch yes. it? Yeah. yeah. Get it out. Put the rare breed in. <laughs> Put the rare breed in. Sub. <laughs> All right. All right uh, give me a, at least a little bit of uh, history on how you got the bottle. Well, I'd, it. me and Tommy were at Steubenville's liquor store, and he had a certain amount of that he wanted to spend. So we were going through, picking stuff out. And then he had, uh, I want to say this is between 25 and 30. And that's about what he had left to spend in the budget he set for that day after, I don't know, four or five other bottles. And so he liked the shape of the bottle, if I remember correctly, because it was different, which it is different. I mean, it looks like a flask. 90 proof? Yeah, yeah 90 proof, so 45%. Who knows? Maybe it's going to... I've had it before. Maybe it's going to shock us. I've had it before. I want to say there are heavy cherry notes. I'll probably like it then. Yeah. I, I remember thinking, like, being pleasantly surprised by it. To be served and consumed in pursuance of elevated company morale. And I know you said that I early. think I'm just confused because... Stephanie Cherry. Aren't all bourbons ready to drink? You would think. <laughs> I mean, when I see him, I'm ready to drink. Right. <laughs> I've never seen a bourbon be like, I'm not ready for you. <laughs> I like he had to smell it out of the, out of the bottle. <laughs> I was just going to ask if there was a difference. Okay. I think that's. Is that heavy? Yeah. Oh, I God. So. That's heavy. He's not heavy. Not I mean, give it to me. It's fine. No. Just like, <laughs> He's <there>. my brother. <laughs> there you go. Get out. We're all looking pretty similar here. <laughs> and now he's being now he's being a dad. <laughs> I was wondering when you were gonna stop. I thought you were Okay. Oh I thought God. you were gonna fill it up halfway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't even know. I think I have yours now. Did you just play a game of three card money? <laughs> yeah. Here. I was kidding. I don't know which one is which. <laughs> All right, so I get some definite cherry. <laughs> you have this one pulled up? You ready? Yeah. Pilate. Ooh, that almost like 
I know. Slid in there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna. I am not going to say that this is zippy and bright. All right, I'm not. Now, if I was sitting here in pink jeans, what does jeans, zippy even mean? <laughs> when pink jeans in a in a halter top, then yeah, I might say it's zippy and bright. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were sitting here in a halter top. I've never used that word before in my life. I'm a. They don't have a. Uh, they don't have a Flaviar one for this, huh? That's unfortunate. I get cherry. It doesn't even say cherry anywhere. I just on feel there. like they're. I feel like they're trying too hard here. Wow. First impression, good. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. Boy, that's really good. Yeah, yeah, that's excellent. So. I definitely get the like the baking spices, and I wouldn't normally say that as a, as a tasting note, unless I saw it up there. But I definitely get that. I don't know. Uh, I get oak. There's oak. There's definitely oak. It's got a little bit of spice to it. Not crazy. It could also be my tongue. It's a good mouthfeel, though. It is. My God. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is between $20 and $30. Shit. I actually can smell the baking spices. It smells like Pam's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is... Mm. I don't know like what your definitions of smooth are, mm. but I think this is the smoothest out of the three so far. Right. Just right. like easiest to... Easy wow. now. Easy now, yeah. Tiger. <laughs> so, like, we probably just have uh, different definitions of yeah. uh, what exactly that means. I think what he's really worried about is you're about to put two bourbons ahead of this. <laughs> <laughs> no. He will never touch that bottle of old oak again. <laughs> Ever. I thought it was good. This but. is... Um, I think they're all good. This is shockingly... Uh, this 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 I believe would is it, for me is going to classify as that diamond in the rough like yeah it's excellent it's a it's a surprise especially at that price point uh, it has some complexity to it yeah uh, I like the cherry on the nose I'm not getting it as much on the palate I'm not either I don't know what blade orange I guess it's just an orange you set on fire <laughs> it's a fire orange <laughs> is, is this a that's really cool. Fun? This is a Tommy Two phone pick, yeah. Nice, yeah. Nice, Tommy. Nice. Who was supposed to be with us, but I forgot that I had volunteered to bartend on Saturday, so we're recording this on Sunday, and Tommy cannot do Sundays. Boy, this is good. This is good. Mm. Yeah, it's really excellent. I gotta add some water. Did you forget to add water, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> I did. It's okay. <laughs> I took it all natural. All natural. <laughs> which I think means you enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best way, usually. Yeah. Add the water. I get some more wood on there. <laughs> <laughs> this show is so perverted. <laughs> Mouthfeel. Not like Mouthfeel. Wendy and I are not going to do well. <laughs> What's that? Wendy and I are not going to do well with all the things. All these innuendos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. something's gonna be said for sure oh, that yeah. <laughs> is gonna be very. Um, well, no, you're not gonna regret anything. I mean, definitely some toffee, zippy and bright. Yeah, that's just. I don't mm. like that description. That doesn't tell me anything. Uh, actually, appearance: rich honey with ruddy tones. So that says ruddy, or is it ruddy? Ruddy, probably. Ruddy. I don't like either of those words. I don't know no. what that means either. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, what like the a hell? boat rudder? Yeah, like I feel like they're <laughs> <laughs> just like speak regular English. <laughs> yeah. Can we use just, you know, words? <laughs> Brulead. Brulead. Yep. Set an oh, orange nice. on fire. That's what it is. It's a flaming orange. I'd like to do and that. I actually kind of get that, though. Now that we know what that means, I do get that. It, there's orange in there. 
Well, and when, I, you know, when you do that, I think that it's supposed to form a, like a crystallization yes. when you belay stuff. It's supposed to make, give it a little sweetness to it. Sure. So yeah, yeah, I and it brings out the oils of the orange. Yeah, yeah. That's excellent. Yep. I'm a I'm a fan. I'd uh. God. Well, I, it's gonna be this and old elk are up there for me right now. Like, uh, what kind of pours are you doing over there? Jesus, <laughs> I, Mary and Joseph. Are you kidding me? Jose! Jose! You, you poured his bourbon in here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you had like he four forgot. drinks and you still got two ounces left. You poured his bourbon into mine. <laughs> oh. I know, but yeah, it that still was wasn't that ago. deep. I feel like you poured more in. Let's not bring up old stuff. <laughs> I am suffering a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm sweaty. We all suffer. We suffer on this. Is it 100 in here? <laughs> like 100 degrees? <laughs> He's sweaty. <laughs> and I'm telling you right now, I mean... I feel like I'm just chugging bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> Give me one of those hats with the straws. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how you guys do ten at one time. Well, that's ten is putting it mildly. <laughs> you get, I believe we did about thirteen last time. Get, we had ten registered. Yeah, and then, and then we, we pulled usually, a couple down. Yeah, we start getting grabby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which would explain. I guess if I prepared, I could do that. If I fasted for a couple days. No, you don't got to fast. You just got to, you know, drink bourbon frequently. Yeah. <laughs> eat pasta beforehand. That 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 helps. I had two whoppers. No, no, I wouldn't eat anything for for a couple days. Uh, that's, that's a, a bad. That's a bad idea. A horrible idea. <laughs> Unless you want a joke. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> like three, three, three or four, three or four in, you're laying on the ground, <laughs> dragging him out by his ankles. <laughs> Get him out of here. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. You should drag somebody by their ankles. Yeah, it's never good. Arms might be worse, though. It depends on the scenario. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, definitely, yeah. You got to take that on a case-by-case basis for sure. So Bib and Tucker or Crockett and Tubbs, depending on uh, where you're from. I'm saying Crockett and Tubbs. (laughs) So they cork their – they use this uh, cork as their stopper. Man, the cork, God, it smells fantastic. I honestly thought you were going to eat it. I, I, I was, was like, thinking, what's I was thinking about it. Oh, what, what's the good. real name again? Uh, Bib and Tucker. And it's a six-year, I think? Six-year uh, Tennessee product, just slightly west of Kentucky. It does smell good. I might eat it. No one picked up on that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just kind of zoned out there for a second. <laughs> I'm just sitting over here sweating. <laughs> hey, if you want to take your shirt off, take your shirt off. <laughs> Listen, don't tempt me. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'll be shirtless for these, and you'll be wearing crop tops. <laughs> this podcast get weird. Yeah. <laughs> she weird. <laughs> that. Oh. I feel like I'm pouring. Right, I'm excited for this. One and, and you know, if I did my normal research, which I obviously didn't do, well, and we did, I, I want to know the history of the name. Yeah, I really want to know the history of the name. Well, and we didn't do the research because we honestly we didn't know for sure what was going to be on the tasting exactly. until we walked in the door. So you're not going to get as much of the history, history lesson as you normally get, which in some ways is unfortunate. But let's be honest, you guys are just here to see us drink bourbon, right? See, and and I'm going to go out on a limb, kind of and I'm going to say Bib them, and so. Tucker. So the guy who um, decided to create this distillery and make this bourbon, he he was married to a woman, and Weird. her name was Tucker. Her name was Tucker, yeah. not Bib. Last oh, name God. was Tucker. Oh, okay. And then his mistress' name was Bib. Oh, okay, okay. And I he see. decided that... Uh, in, the only way he could somehow get out of this situation was make a bourbon named after both of them. And they were both completely fine with it. Oh. And they lived happily 
thereafter. That's I feel a like beautiful you just story. Made that up right now. I did. Okay. <laughs> I want to say. I was going to say that limb, very small. <laughs> <laughs> I almost believed it though. It's it's um, like kind of kind of like my Columbus. It family. started out strong. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like my Columbus family. You're not fooling anybody. We know that's real. <laughs> <laughs> I. I'd, I'd like the nose. It's a little alcoholy on the nose. Yeah. You get that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it's a decent amount of alcohol. Yeah. Um. Hmm. It's actually overpowering my nose. It's a pretty good mouthfeel. It's not bad. I want to say maybe some orange. I get more floral with this than I have with the others. Like maybe a like a hint of honey on the back end. Ooh, definitely floral. Yeah. Wow. A lot of floral yeah. in there. It's like potpourri. Yeah. Jacob, have you ever wanted to drink potpourri? I don't even know what that is. It's the stuff that goes in a snack bowl, but you're not allowed to eat. It just smells. It's probably in your bathroom. <laughs> Look at up home. potpourri. This is. Good luck spelling it, by the way. <laughs> I feel like this is kind of spicy. I don't know if you. It, or, it I'm burns using the wrong word. No, no, it, it it burns in the mouth. I get why you would say spicy, but it's not like peppery or. Yeah, it's not like I thought. Uh, Go to images. Elk was kind of spicy. See, your mother's spicy. Yes, I know. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's potpourri. See, it goes in snack bowls, but you're not allowed to eat it. Gotcha. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Put it in something else. Snack bowls are made for snacks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I've eaten a little bit before at some point, either for fun or by accident. Yeah, I've I've, I've definitely accidentally done it. I'm like, what is yeah. this weird chip? I feel like I probably did it for fun. What is this, kettle corn? <laughs> God, it's delicious <laughs> these, are the, see, these are the worst chips I've ever had <laughs> I could see Jacob eating some of that though <laughs> Jacob was actually like that's not a snack <laughs> <laughs> boy I do I, I mean and this is probably why I'm not a big fan of this bourbon the ginger god I get the ginger now I do what is this called again? The ginger. My mother is a ginger. Um, that's that's not what it's called. <laughs> it's called Crockett and Tubbs. <laughs> Bib and Tucker. Oh, Bib and Tucker. And Tucker. Yes. Yeah, the mistress and the wife. You're right. Um, I gotta say, I think this might be my least favorite so far. I would agree. I don't think I would agree. It says on nose, chocolate and vanilla. I didn't get any of that. I pretty much got alcohol. Um, that f- finish hot, I believe, is what you're referring to there, Brady. So it, it's too much alcohol. That's definitely it. Yeah. No, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. It, it, there's too much alcohol in 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 the aftertaste. Yeah. On the nose, it's too floral for me. Yeah. Too floral. I do get some of that char that they have listed up there. I don't get any chocolate. I don't get. Any, I barely get any sweetness at all. I think bottom line is Tennessee is making a fucking bad product. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Tennessee. <laughs> it's too far west. <laughs> like, uh, what, would Jack Daniels be better? I should probably yes. settle down. Yeah. You think so? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Easy. I haven't had a lot of Jack Daniels, but well, the, I feel like it might. The only thing I've had is a regular, which we do actually need to get, like, yes. the single barrels and we, stuff. Well... We're going to do, I mean, because at some point we're going to run out of options. I I shouldn't say that. We'll never run out of options. But at some, I mean, at some point we're going to say, okay, let's do all Jack Daniel products. Yeah, all Jim Beam products. Right. Yeah. By the way, the Whiskey Vault did uh, review Old Tub. And? They liked it. Yeah. They thought, especially for the price point, just a ridiculous deal. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of don't like this bottle, too. I like I, to see the color of it when yeah. I look at the bottle. I hate the cork. Yeah, and the colors, you know, it's a little light in the ass. I think they're trying. It, it's one of those where it's like they're saying, okay, we have to be different. So we're going to be so different. We're going to make a dark bottle. 
we're gonna make we're gonna cork it and first. it's gonna taste worse yes and we're gonna and we're gonna mask the fact that we just don't really have a very good product in this bottle and hope that people will buy it because yeah, they love Miami Vice. And we're going to throw potpourri in the barrel that we age it in. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying. I, I'm telling you right now, it is by far uh, my least favorite bourbon we've had so far. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to finish it, to be honest with you. But you're going to. Damn. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I don't know if the creators no, you want to dump it, you be dump listening it. to this, but I wouldn't go that far. Okay. I went too far? No, I think Dave went too far. When I said I didn't want to finish, finish it. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, that was mean. Well, I meant it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't, well, uh, in that case, he gets, okay. he gets uh, on, on certain bourbons, and, and it's like you just can't get him off of it. You know, no, no, no. You definitely got to have. You got to have. Larceny. A, larceny. Fuck larceny. <laughs> <laughs> got to have a strong opinion or else it's just boring. Yeah, it's just true. I wouldn't larceny it, but it's not good. Yeah, it's not good. And we want you don't like larceny. No. Okay. <laughs> now, Brady, so Brady so, likes larceny. No, I don't necessarily like it. I would just buy it a lot because it looks nice and it's, it's kind of cheap. Seems legit. So, it's so, definitely so cheap. So I would buy it. Yeah. Um, and then when I would have friends over there, to be like, oh, yeah, uh, that looks legit. Like it's got a key on it. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I don't know why larceny has a key on it. Aren't you supposed to be like stealing stuff? Isn't that larceny? Yes. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but it's not good, whatever it is. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of larceny whatsoever. It <laughs> is. It is my Yellowstone. It to me, it is the. It tastes like potting soil. Yeah, I, I don't just, know what I, that tastes like. I just <laughs> want to get through one podcast without talking about fucking larceny. You brought it up. You said it like eight <laughs> times. Yeah, you you definitely brought it up multiple you, you, times. You went. You, you, I you tested that. You literally went larceny, 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 larceny. larceny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make the talk about larceny. Yeah, it's definitely. If you say it ten You're times, set me row, up for failure. <laughs> I think if you say it ten times in a row, you get possessed. So calm down. <laughs> All right. All right. You were close. It's funny though. I mean, oh. I, it, the, we've had this. <laughs> I mean, we've had strong disagreements on the podcast. Larceny's one. Uh, the other one was uh, when when I thought for sure Dave was going to put Old Tub <laughs> below Benchmark. <laughs> well, I was ready to I, fucking drop trowel. I, mean, I don't know if I would blame <laughs> him for that, but. That wasn't but like old tub is good, but I just think it's good because it's like different. Yeah. Well, what's hilarious is that he wasn't understanding that I was saying it was a better bourbon. Right. I was like, it's a better bourbon. I just think this would be easier for a newcomer to drink. So therefore, oh, I definitely. would say it's smoother. Yeah. But old tub was better. But he was not happy. He actually, at one point, he said, he said Bean is not happy with you, and I said, I think you're not happy with me, <laughs> and he was like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm sure he wasn't. It was one of my, going back yeah. and watching it, it was one of my favorite things that happened on the podcast. Well, I was upset. That's funny. That's funny. I mean, in his favor, we had not done a podcast in like over a month. So. Oh, God. Yeah. So Actually, I, I, no, that was the second wow. one of the back-to-back, -back, wasn't it? I thought it was the first. No. It was just me and you. The 20, 25 was me and you. That was the larceny. And then the one right. where Gilly tried it, that was me, you, and BJ. Right. And I think that was this t when we did them two weeks in a row. All right, what's next here? Okay, next we have Knob Creek 12. So glad to get off the fucking Crockett and Tubs. Yeah. Oof. I'm so happy to be drinking. You know, this sometimes Knob it's... Creek. So we're back you in know, Kentucky, right? Again, people might think this is fun. Well, when you have a fucking Crockett and Tubs, <laughs> that's when it becomes work, folks. Oh, God, it becomes way less fun, that's for sure. <laughs> Also, Jesus. Also, <laughs> also, when these bottles won't stand on their own. Like, what the fuck, Dasani? So, Hunter Proof, uh, Knob Creek 12, and as Dave and I have talked about quite a bit in probably the last three or four podcasts, Knob Creek has just really, really upped their game. Mm-hmm. Uh, Without a doubt, oh. and um, it so they have uh, Knob Creek 
is a um, Jim Bream, Jim Beam, Jim Bream, Jim Bream. S- Sid Bream. <laughs> it's a Sid Bream product. <laughs> For those of you that might remember Sid Bream. Is it Jim Beam product? Yeah. Uh, they 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 own it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, separate, same sort of situation as uh, what, okay, separate distillery. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I was like, fuck, Jim Beam makes this? God damn it, Jim Beam. Yeah. But I, I agree. Knob Creek has completely stepped up their game. Like, when I first really started getting into bourbon, it was like, ah, Knob right. Creek, all Just, right. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 it was, um, I, I had put it on the same level. Actually, a level below probably like Woodford, let's say. You know, it would be something I'd make an old-fashioned with. Um, maybe, maybe have it, have it with a Diet Coke. Yeah. The, uh, but now these, these, the 12, the the, cash drink. Yeah. The 15, uh, the, they have, they have another rye as well that I wish I would have got, but I did. So I have just the regular rye. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's really good. Really stepping their game up. Really stepping their game up. I think I'm getting more and more into rise period too. Well, that's that's what happens, Dave. Welcome, I'm, I'm, welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing me on this journey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, where do we go from here? What do we? I mean, are we going to be uh, like a year from now? Are we going to be doing <laughs> grain alcohol tastings? <laughs> <laughs> Just spitting out fire. <laughs> well, I don't know. This 190 proof was a little bit less tasty than, than the 185. <laughs> See, what I go for when I drink grain alcohol is uh, a very strong alcohol flavor. And this one has slightly less alcohol flavor and more rubbing alcohol. <laughs> Already the nose. Uh, Knob Creek 12, man. man. Yeah. Caramel. I can Big. see it on the screen. Jacob's doing a good job here. Yeah. Don't. Uh, and I don't know what the. Listen, what the don't. The head is here. <laughs> we've, we've, that this spicy is. This on has been here? brought up before. Like, oh. Was Shakespeare yeah. spicy? Is that oh, Shakespeare? Is that Shakespeare? Is that, is that, is I don't. That, is that yeah. Billy Shakespeare? I don't think that's him. Is that him? No. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> no, it is not. I, I feel okay. like he's just is. wearing the same neck trouble. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> Boy. God, so much flavor. Yeah. I'm I'm savoring it's the nose like, no, right why, now. Why is that? I'm not gonna get over that. Why like Well, you're gonna have at spicy? some point just you like, will have like to get over a, it. Put a pepper there or something. Sometimes it is a pepper. It's weird, but that guy, he's a spicy guy. Okay, maybe that means hey, he's like really you, spicy. You like it spicy? <laughs> he seems like it's spicy. What is that from? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We just do things. <laughs> this is excellent. I like it. Oh. Like Chucky's diaper. Spicy. She's not listening. That's gross. <laughs> I mean that's that that is a common thing we say all At the time. Least four times a week. Yeah. We use that oh God, is that spicy? Like Chucky's diaper. <laughs> <laughs> that's from what? Rugrats. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. A little bit of spice. Uh, I definitely get the caramel. God, I like this a lot. Great mouthfeel. Cake. Yeah, I don't, I don't know even about the know cake. how I would. Yeah, no. especially that cake. Listen, I'm, I get the cake. <laughs> I do. Do you? Yeah, for the first time I ever. I don't know. Like I get the cake. There's the, a lot of different kinds of cakes. Well, here's here's my version of of the cake. There's a little bit of fruit there, and a, a little bit of sweetness. It actually specifies okay. red velvet cake. Yeah. If you look over to the right and flavor taste palette. Oh man, I get yes, it. It does. I get it. Right there. I'm telling you what, Dave. Are you getting it on the front or on the finish? I get it on the finish. I was just thinking. There's something on the finish that I can't place. Maybe that's what it is. Let me get another taste in here. This is excellent, though. Oh, man. man. Woo. 
Ooh, Ooh daddy. <laughs> Aren't we supposed to do this one twice? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to have to do this a second time. <laughs> it says the finish is long and exciting. Oh, it's long. And it's exciting. Have you heard that before, Jacob? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I I think I'm starting to understand the cake on the finish. But I'm definitely getting caramel, spiciness, a little, little Might be wood, the, th- thinamon. Thinamon. <laughs> Might be the first bourbon I've ever had where I can honestly say. Yeah, normally we make fun of the cake. Yeah. Yeah. Clove. I, 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 Clove. I, I feel like I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. It's. Wow. I'm sorry. I think this is a clear cut number one. <sighs> I know. I know. Your old well, elk is in there. But. Honestly, Dave, I was hoping that you didn't say that. Because I wanted to have a different number one than you guys. <laughs> I also think this is my favorite. Yeah. But. Like, I'll drink this out of the bottle right now. This, um, <laughs> in, in, in my opinion, this. Seriously, give me the bottle. I, I, I don't want <laughs> I don't want to overstate something, but this is far and above better than any of the bourbons we've had so far. Yeah. My opinion. I agree. My opinion. Oh, okay. I really don't. I really don't think it's. I really don't think it's close. No. Yeah, I agree, Dave. Yeah, and and you know, I, you and I don't like to always agree. No, but this is. I think this is one that's just. It's just a fact. Yeah, it's full full bodied, um, complex. It uh, it's just yeah. great mouthfeel. Yeah, man, so much on the back end. That's what I like about it. The lingering, the I lingering. Love- I Jacob, do like the back end. The usually. lingering. I love Same. the lingering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, the lingering, yes. Who's lingering? Are you lingering? <laughs> Jacob, you got to get some of this. He does. He, that's what he has. Oh, I'm drinking it right yeah. now. <laughs> some bitch. Some, some, some bitch. <laughs> you get up sneaky. here, you get. <laughs> <laughs> you quit that lingering, you get. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I might if you're be in on on this, Jacob. I don't this know is, what he's talking no, about. This is the first time country okay. accents have ever come out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it came from. I'm sitting here drinking my bourbon, you get. <laughs> I'm actually surprised it's been this long for, for that to come out. Yeah. Listen, I got a bunch of them too. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> okay. I, <like> that. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. Jesus, Matty and Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> oh, heavens. Take me a little bit more here, this Knob Creek. <laughs> oh. Oh, I boy. Mean, I, oh, Eric, boy. I feel like Knob Creek is the perfect one to be drinking in <laughs> yeah. if you're going to be talking right. like that. I refilled my glass. Now you get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I feel great. Oh, my. <laughs> Still sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh yeah oh yeah thanks for nothing <laughs> thanks for nothing <laughs> you filthy animal <laughs> oh man all right so i did I, I did myself another generous pour uh me too all right i had to be done I'm very so happy I'm, with it. I'm gonna smoke a cigarette. You know what? I'm too. gonna do a Kentucky chew on this one because I didn't do it on the first. Chew it up. Uh, just to bring out whatever Wait, more dude. flavors might come. I, you guys I, are having another one of these. Yeah. Is that what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I definitely battered my mouth last night, so the Kentucky chew is actually damaging the tasting for me. It's burning my tongue. Sad, isn't it? <laughs> it says <laughs> warm cream. There. Listen, I beat the shit out of this mouth last night. <laughs> Bourbon, butt heavy. About man, about a pack and a half of Newports. Gasoline. That's part of <laughs> gasoline. <laughs> Rubbing alcohol just to rinse. I I got to tell you, so oh with the Kentucky Chew, and uh, I I think this is important to bring out, and people will probably be like, ah, eh, shut the fuck up. The th- Five people that might see this. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be about a hundred, <laughs> <laughs> but it brings out so much more vanilla and caramel. Just 
chew it around. Kentucky chew it around. Man. I actually might like this almost as much as the uh, cash strength rye. Two totally different two bourbons. Totally different, yeah, two, two totally different things, but it's it's up there, man. And I know really I, good. I, I and I know I definitely like it better than the fifteen. More flavor, I think. So I haven't had the fifteen yet. Where did you get this from? I don't think I've seen this one before either. Uh, Tommy Two Phones. Yeah, Tommy Two Phones picked it up in Robinson. I picked up the okay. Ca- I picked up the cash strength rye, and uh, he picked up the. Uh, Knob Creek 12. And Robinson. Okay. I might have to. And just, he, for a, just for a photo. Robinson is a great, Robinson is a great bourbon uh, store. Really? For sure. Fine wine. Okay. Spirits, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. mean, they'll have, like, they're not going to have, um, for whatever reason, they have the they have a shit ton of the Knob Creek products. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. But, but. they're not going to have any Buffalo Trace products ever. And when you ask them. Why? They they basically bitch slap you across the face. Well, like hey, uh, any Buffalo Trace products? Them them like a lot. What's wrong of, with you? Them like a lot of liquor stores. I'll, I'm not gonna understand it because especially our group of friends, we will spend a ton of money in your store. Right. They hate bourbon drinkers because we're on the hunt and it annoys them. Right. All you have to do is say yes or no. Why are you so upset about this? Here like, here fucking relax. Here's the problem. I've, and we talked about this in the last podcast, and I thought about it, and I was like, they need to put these guys on commission, right? Yeah. That's the problem. They don't want customers because it yeah. doesn't matter what the fuck anybody buys. Excuse my language. Sorry, Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. <laughs> 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 We've all heard your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't matter what anybody buys. They're still going to make the same amount of money at the end of the day, right? Put them on commission, and now they're out there, and they are like, hey, they're they're, going to get a list. Well, we got Buffalo Trace today. Get it. Get your asses in here. here. Phone calls, though. I get these sales. And then the other thing is people like me and you, like I, I understand maybe where it might get frustrating is the people that just walk in and say, Hey, do you have any Buffalo Trace products? And then just walk out. But yeah. customers like me and you, if we walk into a liquor store, we're leaving with something. That's I'm the out. same way. Yeah. I'm so not- any liquor store that I walk into, like especially if it's in a place I've never been in, mm-hmm. I'm going to be like, do you guys have Blanton's? That's going to be my first question. Yeah. Um, always say no. Nobody's ever said yes. Right. Um, and then I'll ask a couple um, other different questions. And like... Even if they don't have a bourbon that I want, I'm going to buy some tequila or something. Right. Like, I'm not going to walk out empty-handed. I have taught him well. Yeah. I've you, taught him you well. you got to get something. The, uh, by the way, for their Buffalo Trace products, uh, it seems like their deliveries for their Buffalo Trace products come on their – they have two trucks. Yes. It seems like it comes on Friday because I kept going on Wednesdays, which is one of their trucks. You were talking uh, in Robinson. In Robinson. Okay. Yeah. Friday, Friday is their truck day for, it seems like, Buffalo Trace products. Okay. Where at in Robinson? What place? The Where's Fine it? Wine and Spirits. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. It's by uh, right by Marshall's. Yeah. Down in uh, the Guitar Center. Yeah. Petland. Yes, oh, Petland. Oh, God. Yeah. Love Petland. me some Petland. <laughs> it actually used to be It actually used to be closer to Petland, <laughs> and now it is closer to Guitar Center. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So that's yeah, so they they close. <laughs> that's a shame. Bourbon and pets. That's 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 our that's, lives. <laughs> that's a really really good combination. I literally tag uh, Pam and everything I say that <laughs> and everything I see on Facebook that has to do with dogs and bourbon. <laughs> and she usually texts me or messages me back like I already know. <laughs> Listen, Day late I can't I can't get enough of this Snob Creek. Mm-hmm. I can't. I'm not saying it's going to be my more. number one, but I can't get enough of it. It put me in such a better mood. <laughs> <laughs> you did. You 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 went from like level six to level ten. Yeah, real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure six was where it was at. Yeah, yeah. I was over here moping around like God. I damn forgot it. about this right here. I... All right. So what, what do you still right have here. in your Glencairn? Oh, this is the Knob Creek still. Jesus. I have less than no, no, he does, no. but I, he but he refilled. I poured another one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He refilled later than we refilled. Okay. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to tell you about my experience with the cash strength. Mm-mm. 
You're going to like it. No, it's it, it's a good experience. Okay. Visited the distillery uh, <laughs> five years ago. It's first bourbon distillery I ever went to. Mm. Maker's Mark, right? So right. it's like it's like my uh, little slice of heaven. You know, I, I, I couldn't believe it. I was there. It is the coolest layout of a of a distillery, and I've been to several now. Yeah, but this is the first one I've ever been to. It's it, it kind of looks like a, a a little farm town. All the buildings are amazing, right? Old style, again, look like barns. Okay, yeah. okay, but they're making bourbon there. Yeah, so we get there and. Uh, you know, we got to wait for our tour, which was a little frustrating, but that's a side story. Finally get on the tour, and, you know, I don't know what to expect because, again, I haven't been on a, a tour and ever. And real, real quick, was that a free one or a paid one? Uh, paid. Paid? Uh, I believe 20 bucks. Not bad. 20 bucks. So they take you to all these different, again, barn-style houses where they do the different aging and finally we get to where they're bottling and the coolest thing with maker's mark and i'm telling you uh the only other thing i've seen close to this is what how they do buffalo trace in blanton's but it's even better at makers so there are like 10 people it's like a sweatshop i love those <laughs> it is a sweatshop <laughs> And we're no, finish. they weren't. About to get Maker's Mark and shut no, down. they weren't. They were not young Vietnamese boys. <laughs> well, then, they, no, yeah. So it wasn't a no, true sweatshop. Right? <laughs> they weren't making Nikes. No. <laughs> so, so they, so the bottles are coming down off, and they are taking the bottles by hand, and dipping them, and then putting them back up. They put. So they put a uh, like a almost looks like a like a daisy. Um, what do they call those? Um, so it's a white no paper, a doily. Doily, thank yeah, you, not doily. daisy. Doily. Yeah. So they're putting a doily on it. Yeah. After they pour it, and they're doing this all by hand. I'm like, I, I was just amazed by it because. It just gave me a whole new appreciation for Maker's Mark for what's going on. They're putting a lot. Of, right. They put a lot of love in their bottles. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then the coolest part of it was then later, after the tour, I, I was able to dip your my own, own bottle. Yeah. You still have that bottle? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I won't open it. No. No. Oh, that's cool. So I I, I didn't do the seven fifty. I did a small three seventy five. And I dipped that, and the reason I did it is because I knew if I did the 375, I wouldn't open it. I was just going to say, because it's not worth opening. Right. It's not enough whiskey. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I know myself pretty well. <laughs> right. I'm like, if I, if I do a fifth, we're going to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to say, uh, your shirt, I just realized, says whiskey helps, and there's never been a truer statement. <laughs> Uh, and there are always different degrees of wax. Like this one has it spilling out the back of uh, this the is bottle. a crazy amount of wax. Like yeah. I, I feel like the person who dipped a, this was was obese or or just, hungover. Yeah, <laughs> there was something going on there uh, when this was uh, dipped for sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what this is. I mean, here, I, like this little tail in the back. What is this? I don't know. It looks like a stingray. Yeah. Well, Unfortunately, yeah, it looks like so, a lot of it, things. And, and that's what's so cool about it when you watch the process. God, that's because when you see them dip it and then turn it over, like how this wax ends up is just how the person dipped yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I will say, I'm, I, I don't know if excited is the right word, but this is actually a bourbon that I have never had. Are you kidding I've me? I've never had Maker's Mark Cash Strength. God, I feel like I should smack you in the face right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a little extreme, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> the uh, but the only reason I'm not like overly excited is because I honestly have never been a big Maker's Mark fan. Agree. Yeah, and and I'm the same way. I mean, 
I want to love Maker's Mark because when you see when you see the the land and what they do there, it's it's fantastic. Like you want to love their products, but they're it's just it to me it's more of a mixing bourbon. Yeah, it's a mixing bourbon. That's why I've always felt, and they even say that they make their bourbon to be drank on a rock, which then is also a turn off off a turn off off the bat. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, yeah. for sure. <clears throat> so. I don't know. We'll see what we think of it. Right. Brady, you got it over there by you. Go ahead. I, I mean, I'm definitely intrigued though because I've also never had. Actually, what are those? Here. I don't. I, I should take that back because that toffee almond I actually like a lot. Yeah. The Maker's Mark toffee, toffee almond. Toffee almond is good. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Way better than the Grandma's Kitchen. Yeah, which when we uh, look at the the what they list as the flavor profiles, I thought Grandma's Kitchen was going to be our favorite. I know. I like this a lot more the way that they have the. Uh, I, mean, I gotta tell you, different categories here. A lot like, like of wood and of, char. Um, I feel like they keep. It I simple get heavy here. alcohol in the nose. <laughs> Sorry, like, go ahead. no, no, no. <laughs> like, I think they keep it simple here. Like some of the. They don't go with the crazy. Well, Flavia are bourbons we've had. Like they got like. Like like a paragraph zippity doo da nonsense. Yeah, this is a zippity doo da bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, yeah, like zippity doo da like, zippity day. day. My oh my, what a wonderful day! <laughs> God, that sounded pretty good. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> right. so. The uh, Flaviar is actually our favorite site to use. Those other ones that they had all the craziness on there, it's because they oh, didn't okay. have this is a Flaviar. Different site. Right? Different okay. site. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Long and soft. Well, I got to tell you. For the finish. I mean, uh, uh, I mean the nose, I, I don't mind the nose. I don't mind it. A lot of wood, a lot of char. Yeah. 110 proof. And I failed to say. Big, Big boy bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> we had to sing first. <laughs> mm. Mouth feels a little hollow. Yeah, a little thin. You know, I mean, it's just, it's a little thin. It's not bad, but boy, it doesn't <sighs> hold up. Against the twelve, these. I and you know I think it might have got a disservice here because I think it might be better than a lot of the other ones on the table. But having it after the twelve, I think it's hard. Is, is it's bad hard, for it. and, and and I kind of was thinking that when we had the twelve, I was like, this cash right this. Well, we're probably thinking we're putting Maker's Mark at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it actually it's good. It's it is. Yeah. But it, uh, go ahead, you go. It might be my favorite. I'm gonna have to think about it. All right, take a few more sips. But yeah, I definitely you know, put a little water in it. Yeah, see where we go from there. I definitely get some orange zest in there on the palate, which I don't hate that picture for orange zest because that is not how you zest an orange. <laughs> that's how you juice yeah, an orange. That's how you, yeah, <laughs> I mean God. I don't. I, mean, I don't get a lot of is, sweetness. It is good. What is the zesty there, though? Like, like what is that supposed to Yeah, they need orange zest and zest. I think that no, is. No, like, I mean, the zesty, like the. Oh, the, that's the um, sign of the devil. Image. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, I that's, mean, that's, 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 that's Satan. It, it honestly could be. Like, I've never seen that before. Uh, add the water. Still get kind of the same thing. Same thing. Wood. And I get, I, I got a lot of alcohol on, on, on the back end. There's that back end again. <laughs> we love the back end. I, I would, yeah, you know what? I mean, it, it seems prevalent. Like, it, it, it it's, is. It's too strong. Yeah, it has, like, when you first get the finish, it's not really there. But then as you sit there, when it lingers, the lingering is, is alcohol. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty strong. It's a lot of burn. And that's been Hits always... Hits in the chest. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that's that's always been my issue with Maker's Mark. And 
any of these products because uh, they have another product called Bill Samuels. Bill Samuels is the guy back in the day. You're fucking making this up. No, this is true. <laughs> this is true. So yeah, back in the day, Bill he said that he might still be making it up. Yes. <laughs> I know. No, I know. I, I so do want to hear about Bill Samuels. Okay. <laughs> so I have some knowledge and, you know, some's true, some's not. This is true. So Bill Samuels is the guy who uh, initially came up with the mash bill for the original Maker's Mark. It says right? he was the managing director, yeah. so yeah, that would make so, sense. There you go. All right. So they came out with a product just called Bill Samuels. He looks like the angriest man on the planet. Click on that picture. <laughs> it's funny how you guys fucking he definitely doubt it. Oh me. my god, he's he, listen. He looks like he, he beats the he is, shit I, out I of his say, of that woman. He is about to beat her ass. It's, and it's, she looks like she knows she's oh co it's God. coming, and yeah. she likes it. Yes, <laughs> that is exactly what. It's that funny looks how like. you guys doubt at me about Bill Samuels. You I thought well, I, I did. was. I've never heard it in my life. <laughs> <laughs> but you were a hundred percent. Wait, 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 wait. Scroll down, Jacob. He's gay too. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> He's a gay woman beater. Yeah, okay. We're in trouble. <laughs> All right. We're in trouble. Okay. <laughs> so, they have a bourbon that they make. It's called Bill Samuels. All right. See if we can find that. Go ahead. You can only buy it there. They uh... won't. They, they don't sell it anywhere but on the property. So, I bought it. Of course, Dave. Yeah. I, I bought it. Oh, right? Yeah. So, do you still have the bottle? No. Nah. What were you, come on, man. Ah, man. I think I drank <laughs> it within two weeks. But that could be a good decoration on yeah. the table. But but what I said about that bottle, and I'll say it about this cash strength, because it was a higher proof, I, I want to say around 120, it's like it doesn't have the back end on yeah. on the bourbon. So some of these higher end uh, bourbons that we really like, there you go. That's it. That's the bottle. That's Bill Samuels Jr. Yep. So I mean, it just they're they're it, they're trying, and I get it, and and I want to love Maker's Mark because of everything it stands for. Maker's Mark is a family-owned place. Yeah, love that place. Go there if you get a chance. You have to go. It's the best tour you can get on the Bourbon Trail. Yeah. Does that mean I think it's the best bourbon? No, right. it's not. Right. Uh, but their bourbon is is I believe. To be a different type of bourbon. It is. I, I want to say, honestly, it's not as complex as you might expect from uh, a high-proof bourbon like that. Like, it's it's nowhere near as complex as the Knob Creek 12. Um, I, would, I wouldn't say don't buy their products, but I would say oh, temper yeah. your expectations. Yeah. Because <clears throat> it's going to be okay. Yeah. But it's not going to be, it's not going to blow your socks off. You're going to be like, oh, man, I just bought this $70, $80 bottle of Maker's Mark. I can't wait. Easy. Right. Relax. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and you bring up a good point. That's my biggest issue with it. It's just a little overpriced. That's all. Yeah. Like, give, give it to me at 40 or $50. Absolutely. No yeah. doubt. And, like, I, I, I like all of the, the special bottles we got, the Ohio Barrel Picks. Like, they were all decent. But... The only one that I was ha okay with paying the price point we paid for, which I think was seventy seventy five, was probably the toffee almond. Yeah. The the other ones I was just not as impressed with for that price. Maybe a forty or fifty, but yeah. seventy seventy five was a little much. Still though, I will say by far the best bourbon tour you can ever do. Really, that was your favorite out of all the ones you've uh, done. Yeah. No doubt, yeah. no yeah. doubt. Yeah. Like it's it, and it's not even close. I guess uh, the second one would be. Woodford. Do not, I was so, say, do not say Woodford. No, no. She is Where very is unhappy makers? with the Woodford pick. No, Why? No. I thought they were so rude the second time. Oh, uh, no. I like the no. Woodford. Yeah, the there. Woodford was good. I liked it a lot, but it's good. Uh, they where weren't is rude. Makers? I thought they were rude. Makers is. <laughs> Pam is very upset. <laughs> like, <laughs> could we have gone to Makers? Last no, time we were there, so where is far that located? South. It's so far south. Um, Great tour, though, and they, yeah. everything about it was awesome. Makers is like 45 minutes south of yeah. uh, Lexington. It's it's at the very far 
end okay. of Kentucky. So Jacob Jacob might tell me different because he <laughs> thought that Tennessee was east of Kentucky. I didn't think. I just asked. <laughs> I, I had to fit that in. There. I'm sorry. It's good. No, he thought Tennessee was directly south. I mean, honestly, I would trust uh, Jacob's geography skills over yours, oh, Dad. I'm bullshit. sorry. Bullshit. Can you, name, can you name all 50 states? <laughs> Uh, and their no. capitals. <laughs> I, I can tell you. What's uh, the yeah, I can of give Kentucky. you capital. What's the capital of Kentucky? I don't know. Louisville. Uh, Lexington. Jacob knows. No, I Lexington. actually don't know. I don't know. Lexington. Okay, Jacob doesn't know. Okay. All right, <laughs> challenge me. me. All right, come on, <laughs> okay. challenge. I think it's. Uh, it's Anchorage, by the way. No. Alaska. No. Wait, is it Frankfurt? <laughs> no, it's Anchorage. Germany. I think it's Frankfurt. No, it's Anchorage. State? It's Anchorage, you motherfuckers. It's not Anchorage. <laughs> it's fucking Frankfurt. Look at that. Yeah, it is Frankfurt. Oh, oh no, so, that's not right. So, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to know that, Jacob. I'm no, sorry. <laughs> Anchorage? <laughs> I don't know. That's Alaska. Anchorage. <laughs> Which I love Anchorage, by the way. <laughs> I got to be honest. I'm going to double dip into these two a little bit because... I feel like I might be doing a disservice here, and I've woke up a little bit, so I need to do a little taste of these two. You had a couple peas. Yeah. No, I think the only way to, like, really make I a ranking is to go back, like, I don't taste hate them this. all and then I, go I back. I don't hate it's it at all. Bad. No, it's not bad. It's, it's just really, not as complex. It's right. really good. It's not bad. No. It's it's probably my first or second Maker's Mark product to date. I think, again, we did it a disservice getting it after 12, but well, it's still good. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, you got to put it where you put it, you know? Yeah. I mean, tough titty said the kitty when the milk ran dry. Just. Is that a saying? <laughs> is that is that? That is a Wendy Manfresca saying. Is it? Well, well, now I'm even more excited <laughs> to have Wendy Manfresca on. <laughs> it might be that might be our next new sh- T-shirt. <laughs> Say Tough titty said the kitty when the milk ran dry. Sounds like we're also gonna make a song. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start a new podcast called. Uh, Dave and Steve sing the classics. <laughs> Those are instant classics. <laughs> Zippity doo da. I mean, really? Zippity doo da. If you win a zippity doo da thing, I'm pretty sure there's something okay. about a bluebird in there. <laughs> Easy, <laughs> easy now, Tiger. This is. I need to. Uh, I need to do a quick. You guys can, you know, start if you want. I got to. I got to do a quick. I'm only pouring a little bit right. of both of these. Just so you know, I don't remember which one I poured in here. All right, it's going to be Brady, then you, then me. Because okay. you went. You went last last time. Yeah. I'm in a. You okay with that? Yeah, I'm in a predicament. I got to get another one because I don't remember which one I poured in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. Sad. He's so sad. <laughs> so should I go? Yes. No. No. You got to no. wait for Dave. So we fill the time. We'll talk oh, about okay. We'll talk see. about Olivia. How's Olivia doing? Oh. She's good. She's good. All right. Pam wants to go home. <laughs> well, Pam is going to have to just pucker through it. Hence suck it up, still- Buttercup. <laughs> I can see outside. The sun is still up. <laughs> yeah, come on. You can see outside. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. Wait a second. I got to rearrange this dungeon. Wait a second. Have I used the tiger reference too much already tonight? Easy. No, Easy. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Stretchy stretch. Oh. All right. Now that I got this. I gotta compare old elk. No, I don't know. And I feel like I need to do, do the old elk against the knob twelve, which means I'm gonna need another Glencairn <laughs> dishwasher. <laughs> I, I like 
I'm all tied up. <laughs> See, this is why, this is why I fucking had it wrapped up, and you complained. <laughs> oh man! Oh, I forgot the beautiful case. That thing's awesome. All right, old elk, whiskey tango. What do you think, Jacob? I mean, is that's that impressive? Seri- that's is impressive. That, yeah. Is that serious or is that serious? How many does that fit? Two. Two. Do you think that's enough? No, God, no. I I, I need one like double this size. Is that all you have? Is that the only one you have? Yeah. He uh, brought it with him the other night to Garden Grill Steakhouse in Weirton, West Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> It's a true story. It's a true story. I told. I also story. told him to. <laughs> I was like, "Should I bring it?" And he was like, "Yes, bring it." Because <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't know if it was okay. I didn't know if it would be taboo. They were like, "Did you get weird looks?" Uh, no. I, I don't think so. No. I think thanks, thanks to Dave, I didn't get weird looks. <laughs> yeah, I'll smack somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so if Dave wasn't there, <laughs> if Dave, hey, Jacob, if Dave wasn't there, I got, I was getting weird looks. <laughs> Like somebody was gonna be back behind a bar, like, look at this motherfucker bringing his own own glass in. Who does he think he is? Yeah, Steve Bolger. That's who. <laughs> no, I mean, that pisses me off just thinking about it. Listen, it has to be done. They don't have any Glen Karens there. I know. So I already committed. God, why is that so hard to get off? All right, so I'm going to do a knob and an old elk because, to me, these are one and two. That's You want to taste anything again, Brady? Just just to get your rankings straight. Yes, I'm definitely having... <laughs> I'm having some issues here for sure because there's like four that I have towards the top, but I like I don't know which one is one. Okay. So, so give I, me. He's just gonna ask for all the best ones. No, no, no. Give me old elk for old sure elk. because right now I have them at four. Okay, but, you raise a smart but, kid. But but I feel like they might be you higher than that. You raise a smart that. kid. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then also, <laughs> the jealousy um, is strong. Straight edge, the very first one we had. I want to have that one again because I thought it was good. It uh, is good. But, yeah, but I, I think, feel like you guys didn't think it was good. No. so that's why I'm confused. I oh, know I liked it. It's just, I just okay. Yeah, I just didn't think it would be. I, I didn't think that it was going to stand up to some of these other ones. It's definitely sure, not going to okay. be at the bottom for me. But you know, if that's the one you like the most, that's the one you like the most. Like for right. for the old forester it's definitely tasting, not number one. Yeah, but for the old, I for- have it at three right now. Okay, for the old it, forester tasting, um, Jesus, why am I drawing a blank? Uh, Pat Spees. Pat Spees had the eighty six as right. The number one. Right. But he has, he has since told me when he watched it back that he made a mistake. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what was it? He said, oh, my God, no, I meant the 1897. <laughs> but whatever, you know, it happens. You get, you know, people get scared on the mic. Yeah, yeah. It and, happens. And, well, and honestly, he, he started letting loose towards the end. But and honestly, <laughs> that 86 is good. Yeah, but so we I mean we all looked at him like he was this, uh... he was fucking crazy. God. Is there something else I can have the other bourbon in or mm. I oh, see you have two of these Glen Cairns yeah, here. Here you go. <laughs> Easy now, Tiger. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I look for places to say it. <laughs> you, you I hunt, mean, I try you, and work You it hunt in. for it now. <laughs> I try to work it in. I feel like it doesn't fit anywhere, so I've said it 30 times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel like any time it's, it's going to be worked in, it's still going to work. It always works. <laughs> God. I, I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't know what to do with these two. I, I, I hear you, brother. And it's insane to me because of the price difference. I know. I know. You do what your heart tells you to do. All right? Look Pam in the eyes. <laughs> She'll tell you. Never do that. 
God. They're both so good, you know? I mean, I'm drinking both of them simultaneously. Well, I'm drinking Old Elk and the Ready to Drink Bourbon, the Whiskey Tango. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I think... I, to, I already said it earlier, but I, Knob Creek is... Yeah. So good. Mm. But that's what I mean with... Mother's... The- Dare I call it mother's milk? Mother's milk. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of milk in this episode. <laughs> now I want milk. She two percent. Oh. Can't wait to hear these rankings. This is bananas to me. Man. Hmm. God. Anybody say Taco Bell? No. No one can say that. Can anybody say Wendy's? No, I think Ooh, somebody yeah. said Taco Bell. <laughs> Steve, real quick. Yes. Top five fast food restaurants. Ooh. Oh, I, I, I'm going to go one Taco Bell. Oh my yeah. god! One Taco Bell. Two, I like it, but two Arby's, oh. three Chick Fil A, oh. four Zaxby's. Zaxby's. <laughs> the Bojangles. God, is Zaxby's good? So good. Now no. the problem Zaxby's with Zaxby's is because we don't it's get good. it up here. Yeah. So no, you got to one in my list. Here. One in my list. We're not going to have here either. Okay. And number five, it's a tough one. Burger Chef. Wow. Oh my God. I can't believe you put Arby's before Chick Fil A. I, I want to hear yours, I, it, it's Dave. It's a mistake. And then I'll give mine. <laughs> it's a mistake. So you, you pressured me. So you did make a mistake. That yeah. was <laughs> so switch them around. Yeah, switch those. Okay. Two Chick Fil A, three Arby's. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna start mine with um, fuck Chick Fil A. <laughs> so you don't like Chick Fil A? No, I what are you, to, a me, raising canes? That's a to me. To me, it's just it's you know it's chicken. Raisin canes? Have you raisin. have you had good, that? Good job. What raisin canes? No, yeah. but no? clearly you haven't had a milkshake from Chick Fil A. Let's be honest. Let's I full disclosure. I, I have okay. not. I have so you'll have a. You will have, I should say, when you have a milkshake from Chick Fil A, like you'll be you'll be knocking on the door on Sundays when they're closed, like a crack addict. Oh, well, it sounds like I should never have one. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm saying. So all right, good. I'm I'm a little ashamed of my number one, uh, but it has to be number one. Just because White Castle. they have the best French fries, <laughs> and it's White McDonald's. I will, uh, I will, I'll sure. go to, for the uh, French fries. You have, you have nothing I, to be ashamed I about at that. that. Absolutely, I literally some. There's times where I'll be like, God, I, I really want a Wendy's burger, but fuck their French fries. Yeah, right. And because their like, fries aren't aren't nearly as good as no. McDonald's. So I'll yeah. su- sometimes I'll literally be like, you know what? I don't even really want a burger from McDonald's, but I want their fries. So I'll suffer through the burger. I completely agree. <laughs> yeah. Though I remember when Wendy's first changed their fries. Oh, so mad. Really? I, I thought they were the ones they have now. You I, like the ones they have now? Not now. Okay. When they right. first switched over to them, yeah. I thought they were really good. And then it got everyone on that bandwagon and then they just kind of yeah stopped caring about their fries it was just and the quality went down yeah they're they're they're, just, they're not good i don't enjoy them half the time they're a soggy yeah. mess and i don't get it because if you have good fries you're gonna you know you're gonna go yeah <laughs> uh, seriously the fries are where it's at them and them and fucking steak and shake man i will go there specifically for french fries Five guys five fries guys. are yeah. the best oh, hands yeah. down anywhere. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Well, I, so I still I'm, like McDonald's better, but their no. fries are fucking amazing. I don't think like five guys is a fast food restaurant. Five We're not classifying it as a food. No. Why okay. why wouldn't no. you? It's I for agree. sure fast food. Yeah. Jacob, oh, I think I, it's no. fast food for yeah. sure. I think no. fast food. Well, uh, okay, I, if I, that's the case, he's five guys because there's no drive through. Yeah, I'm I say fast food. We're talking drive through. Okay, you have to have a drive through? Okay. Yes. Okay, well then. I got a five top guys. five. 
Give the five guys is going off my off my <laughs> list then because it was up there. So I'm gonna go McDonald's. I'm gonna go Taco Bell, uh-huh. and uh, then I'm probably gonna go Wendy's because I do actually think Wendy's has some of the best burgers. I don't even care. They're uh, fr- fresh, never frozen patties. I disagree. <laughs> They're, never, they're, seri- they're seriously never frozen. No, they they are seriously never frozen. And actually, wow. if you've never checked out, if you've never checked out uh, <laughs> Wendy's uh, Twitter, the guy who runs their Twitter is maybe one of the funniest people on the fucking planet. Fuck him. There, I've never checked that out. There but was yes, no, I would agree. Fuck him. There was a guy. There was a guy who actually <laughs> tweeted back at them because they kept saying they're never frozen. And they were like, "Oh, never frozen." So how do they how do they get to your store? And, right. and and he said he said something about uh, he said something about uh, well we didn't say they weren't kept cold they're just not frozen Aww. and then the guy snaps back at something hard and he goes listen the Wendy's Twitter says don't be mad at me just because you forgot refrigerators exist okay <laughs> <laughs> the dude is hilarious seriously check it out it's like a phenomenon on the internet okay. it just was a few years yeah, back no. I haven't had a Twitter in a while but. I don't even have the Twitter. I just go. You can find it on like it's a right, right. You can just look it up. Yes. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Wendy's for that uh, three. I actually I don't like Arby's, but their Jamocha Shake is one of my favorite things on the planet. Oh. I've never had that. Listen, no, Dave, I love me a Jamocha Shake. Yeah. My God. Okay. There's there there is um there's only two things better than a Jamocha Shake, sex, and shooting even par in golf. Let's make it three bourbon. <laughs> And bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so okay, but, four. Uh, so four. There's probably about ten things. Let's just cap it at four. Though. No, I love the Jamoka shake. It's love. it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So four. Oh shit, four. I'm going to go with. This is going to sound crazy, but I feel like I have to go with the ones I eat the most often. So I'm going to go KFC. Okay. That's totally uh, fine. And which, I by mean, the way, KFC is I, f- I feel like you're tired. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when I eat KFC. I, I mean, get mad tired. I have. But also, real quick, with the KFC, they got rid of their Joes or whatever, and they now have the oh. fries, and their fries are fantastic. Their fries are really? good. Okay. They're fantastic. I, haven't yeah. had them. I, I have not had them. <laughs> They're so I, good. I mean, I was stunned by it. They're like beer batter like, or man, something. These I don't are know. Good fries. Wait. KFC? Yes. Yes. Their fries are they amazing. change their fries I'm completely. Change, change their fries. Mm-hmm. Wow, I had no idea. They're yeah. phenomenal. Uh, <laughs> and then check it out. And then I, I food wise, I guess I would have I would have to go. I would have to go Arby's. I guess. Thank I, you. Yeah, Thank I think you. I would have to. Yeah, Burger no. King used to be up Arby's there, but their food has taken be. a real decline. Yes. Their bacon Not is always that. burnt. Okay. In. Yeah. I've had food po- poisoning twice in my life. Poozening. Poozening. <laughs> Poozening. Yeah, it seems no. accurate, though. You probably pooed a lot. I mean, food poo- <laughs> So food both times poozening that I had it. sounds bad. Poozening. Um, both times I had it was from Burger King. Wow. I get it from number one Chinese food. Oh, I still God. keep eating I, it. I totally forgot about Burger King. I love Burger King. No, yeah. you don't. It's, it's I mean, not- I ate it today. <laughs> it's not going to be in my top five, but I do think Burger King... Is, is solid. Gets a bad rap. I think yeah. it's fine. All right. So g- go ahead. Bring us your top five, so, and then we got to get to the so bourbons. Number one is Swenson's. Yes. Oh, I forgot about Checkers. God damn it. Checkers which is my it, number five. Which has, so, so Swenson's is kind of like a Sonic. No one knows about it other than Jacob. Jacob, you I, probably know Swenson's. No, I don't. They okay. specialize yeah, I don't know in either. burgers. I've never had it. Okay. And milkshakes. I don't like milkshakes. I just like their burgers. Yeah. But I'm not sure how many of them there are, but there, uh, there's they not started many. in Akron, and there's a couple in Cleveland. I think there's maybe like five or six in the world. They're all in Northeast Ohio. I feel like he's working but for Swenson. I think really, he is. really, <laughs> what did he go really, to did he go to school really, for marketing? <laughs> really good burgers. <laughs> really, really good. Like five guys, good, but a little bit yeah. better. He even brought up their opinion. milkshakes and said he hates milkshakes. <laughs> <laughs> no, just because everybody, so, like, 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 if somebody, if somebody tells you that they love Five Guys, they're they're probably going to mention the milkshakes. You mean Swenson's? Yes, 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 Swenson's. Yeah. If somebody tells you that they love Swenson's, 
they're probably going to mention the milkshakes. He I for don't sure even works like for Swenson's. I think so. <laughs> Why do you keep saying milk? <laughs> Mother's milk. 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 That's how I milk. say it too. Milk. 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 I say milk, milk as well. Milk. Milk. Like milk. drinking milk, milk from your breast. Milk. It seems like it's an with effort. With an E. With an milk. E. I say milk. I say milk. milk. Yes. Yeah. Not yeah. Milk. I'm with you. Milk with an E. <laughs> milk seems like work. <laughs> it's like I'm working to say milk. Milk. <laughs> anyway. It's, it's milk. He said milk. Good. Anyway, Swenson's in. <laughs> Listen, if you Swenson don't stop fucking milk. talking about Swenson's. <laughs> is number one. Okay. <laughs> My God. He's been on a Swenson fucking. Su- Little queen. There's no okay. way he's not collecting well, a check. <laughs> well, Arby's, Arby's is number two in my opinion. It's a good choice. I agree. I I can't. A lot disagree. of good signs there. I hate curly fries. Chick Fil A oh. is fries number three, yeah. and it was hard for me to put him there at number three. What was it? No, I'm sorry. no, um, no. Chick Fil A. Solid choice. But it's, yes. So like, it's just because. So if you've had the Chick Fil A sauce, I mean that shit's pretty good. Ooh. But. You ever had McDonald's if sweet they, and sour? Yes, I have. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't like that sweet and sour. I don't like it. So I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick. But No, um, no, no, Zaxby, no. Extend it. No, I don't want to extend it too much. Zaxby's. Zaxby's is number four. You've literally made up two restaurants now. <laughs> <laughs> Zaxby's is pretty fucking good. I put uh, Zaxby's too. Right. Zaxby's is above Chick Fil A. Honestly, I, okay. I lived in the South for four years, and Zaxby's is number four on my list. But I mean, Chick Fil A is pretty popular in the South too. Right. So I think Chick Fil A is a little bit better than Zaxby's, depending on what you get. But okay. All right, mother. Tim Hortons is number five. Jesus. Ooh. I'm gonna ask you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Purely because of their coffee and of their their horrible service. I love the bad service. It's awful. I love it. Especially this one here. Yes. Like when you exactly. order your food, you're like, let's see what we get. Exactly. <laughs> that's and that Wait. I'm glad you said that because that's why I put it on the list. <laughs> okay. And now like, I appreciate it. <laughs> so I, like And they won't give you a bag. I enjoy the bad service. It makes me feel that's at home. True. They won't give you a bag. Why wait, can't I have a bag? Wait, like, wait, wait. Every time I go through the drive-thru, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to get. <laughs> yeah. I know it's going to be bad service, but <laughs> yeah. just how bad is it going to be? I ordered a grilled cheese. I'm probably <laughs> going to get soup. <laughs> so And not so, in a bag. Yeah. And not in a bag. <laughs> like, so I got time, 10 items. Can I get a bag, please? <laughs> For the love of God, can I get a fucking bag? <laughs> I think you're going to like this, Dave. So so one time I went to the... Um, um, I went through the drive-thru, and I said, well, uh, I want a large coffee with cream. Yeah. And that's all I said, and, like, they had no problem with it. I went through the line, and then, like, five minutes into my drive, I realized it was a coffee with whipped cream on top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, <laughs> bl- like black hot coffee. Like they didn't know what with whipped cream. Like they didn't know what you it. meant by cream exactly. at a coffee place. And that's why <laughs> Tim Hortons so has made my list. For someone asked for a coffee with, with cream. cream. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. I don't know what happened to them. Uh, actually, a, fr- a friend owns that place. Um, God, Andy. I can't think of his last name now. But he's actually from Canada, moved to this area, and he owns this one, the one in Wheeling, the one up in Pittsburgh. Uh, I think it's in the stadium. But... Ever since he moved away from this area, that one here in Soonville has gone to shit. And you're right. It's like a it's like a mystery bag. It's yes. like, that's why you go to Tim Hortons. You're like, oh man, yes. I can't wait to see what I get this time. Yes. Sometimes it's a bonus. Like, you order one thing, you like, get four. Right. <laughs> no bag though. I think that product that they uh, that they produce is good like when it's good like The upside is very high. So it's got a high ceiling. Right, right. <laughs> it's a high ceiling, but a very low floor. <laughs> a but very like, that's low a floor. Yeah. But it is but, a fun little game to play. That's why it's on my hey, list. Hey, let's go to Tim Hortons today. Yes, yes. <laughs> Take the whole family. It's family fun. I so, love, yeah, I love I the mean, gamble. I so, have. So I, that's why it's on the list. Here's the thing. I, ha- I have 
stock in Tim Hortons. Do you really? Yeah, I don't know if people know this, but I worked at Tim Hortons for a little while. So did I. Did you? I swear to God. Okay. All right. <laughs> so we have that both. Probably different Tim Hortons. I'm assuming yours wasn't here. No, it was here. In Stoneville? Yeah. Worked for free, though. I was working for free. Oh, for Andy. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What's his last name? Um, Why can't I think of his last name? How are you working for free? God. Well, God. I can't think of his Canadian last name. Canadian guy. I know. I Great know. guy. God. I love him. Cooney. Yeah. Cooney. Cooney. Jerry Cooney. <laughs> I, I, I have a lit. You got to tighten I, I this here. All right. Thank you. You see that one? Right here? Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, she tight. She tight. Toit. It's very toit. <laughs> Wait, no. No. You, nope, it's not that part. Anything. It's not that part. It's a different part. You, you, you're very violent. <laughs> My mother and your mother. Well, Anyhow, okay, so I'm gonna have to carry the uh, carry the conversation. <laughs> uh, I said, I'm gonna join you, but you're just gonna have to just deal with that for this, and I'll yeah, fix it it's after. Fine. It's okay. I don't know how you did that. You're very violent. I know. I'm sorry. We're about to do the whiz- uh, you, that was your top five, right? Is that it? Yeah, we're all good. Brady, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the whiskey tastings. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Stop. Stop. All right, get a tool, damn it! Come on. Okay. All right, Brady. So let's get your yes. uh, let's get your rankings. Okay. Get it going. So there's a lot of chicken scratch on here, but chicken scratch. Yes. I have a one written on makers right now. So. Makers is borderline number one. All right. So here's it's how like, we're going to do these rankings. It, we just need numbers. Right. All right. right. You can't waffle. Okay. All right. So just okay. commit. So I'm going to go makers number one. He's going makers number one. Wow. All right. Okay. All right. Is that better? Yeah. It was very strong. So... Thank For you. how strong it was, I thought it was pretty tasty, which is why it's number one. Okay. Yeah, Disagree. you have to give us a reason. That's it. And, and we're not going to... I have uh, Knob Creek number two. Okay. And then I'm probably going to get a little bit of flack on this one, but I have the Straight Edge number three. It's not far off. No, he's off. He's Actually, far. I guess it's, it, yeah. Old Elk, number four. He's running way off. Sure. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a good thing you got your own place. No. <laughs> this so, is, this so is what Old makes Elk, the... I thought about putting it a little bit higher. Um, and then I had a second taste with it, and I was like, yeah, no, I don't like it that much okay but still like number four like this is a very good lineup number four right. you'll never it's not have that old bad again. okay <laughs> sure <laughs> and then i got um i got number five long name that's what i got here long name i don't know uh the what? ready to drink <laughs> <laughs> whiskey tango ready to drink <laughs> yep in my uh-huh. notes i just have a long name so that's number five all right. And then Bib and Tucker, Nip and Tuck is number six. You mean Nip and, uh, t- nip and Tuck? Croc and, <laughs> croc and Tubbs? Croc and Tubbs. <laughs> but, uh, would, would but you, uh, like, I thought that uh, Bib and Tucker wasn't that bad. Oh, really? So, you didn't think it was that bad? No, okay. I didn't think it was that bad. So, like, I thought about putting it higher because I know you guys thought it was pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, I didn't think it was that bad, but I still thought it was worse than the other five. Fair enough. Okay. All right, so now we're on me, right? Keep them coming. My number one by leaps and bounds. 
is the Knob Creek, and I think it might actually enter into my top five period. Yeah. So That's good. fair. It's really excellent. It's really good. Um, I'm going to have to reevaluate my top five. It's hard to even say what's in there at this point. I've tried so many. <laughs> what the hell? I, I hope that's on camera. <laughs> well, what were you doing? <laughs> well, so I I thought for some reason that there was a like a Ecstasy. squirter on the end of it. <laughs> he just dumped a whole bunch of water into his whiskey. <laughs> it was you know what's funny as I said, hey, don't worry. Jeff dumped the eyedropper and everything into his glass on one episode, and then he just took the eyedropper out and then just poured all the water into it. <laughs> I loved it. That's my favorite moment of the podcast. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> that was so good. And then immediately went, what the hell? What's what in tarnation? Hey, hey, hey. What's going on here? No, for some reason, <laughs> I thought that it was Santa like a twist off, and then like the... I don't know what you thought, because that... It was going to squirt off out the end Because that piece of glass is in there. Right. <laughs> That's right. That's what happens when you drink bourbon. On the Bastards of Bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> and we are on the Bastards of Bourbon. <laughs> All right, so Knob oh, Creek. Right. And then I'm going, instead of two and three, I've had such a hard time with them, I'm calling them 2A, 2B. And this Puss. is this one I'm going to catch Puss. some flack on. Puss. You, you know what? <laughs> since since I got two A two B, there's only six. We'll say number two is the old elk, and it was actually literally I retried both of them, and it was literally on the final taste of each that I went old elk, and oh, then look on at that, you. And honestly, on that final taste, I was like, mm, actually, it's really not even that close. Yeah, old elk is actually a good bit better than it. I don't know what took me so long, but it did. Um, love it, very smooth. I like the toffee. Uh, excellent find, Steve. Thank and you. then my number three, which this is where I think I'm going to catch some flack, is actually the long name Hotel Tangle. Oh, Tangle. <laughs> this is an entanglement. This is an entanglement. I'm in a relationship with it. So the Hotel Tango uh, bourbon ready to drink. I don't know. There's something about it. It's cheap. Uh, 20, 30 bucks. And it's excellent. Yeah. It's a really a decent bourbon. Uh then my number four would then be the cast strength by Maker's Mark. Um, probably it's, it's up there for my favorite Maker's Mark that I've ever tasted. Not that I've tasted a ton, but I've had the 46. I've had the regular cool. Maker's Mark. I've had the four uh, Ohio picks. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, it's just To me, it's just not as complex to be up there with the Knob Creek and, and those. Then my number five would be the Straight Edge. Uh I was actually hoping for a little bit more from it. A little thin. Uh, lots of wood. Lots of char. Caramel after I added water. Which one is this? The straight edge. Okay. Yeah, definitely thin. Yeah, definitely thin. And then my last, number six, is Bib and Tucker. And literally my only note for that was, boo. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're giving it. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just, it, it's, it's not very good. I didn't think good. it was that bad, uh, but... It was the worst out of the ones here. It was definitely sure. the worst out of the one, and I don't think it was really close. <laughs> I, I, I agree 100%. I'm still not going to Yellowstone it or Larceny it because it's, okay. not, it's not the worst, but I don't think it was really even close in with the bourbons we had here today. Oh, I know. Yeah. And, Which is a letdown. And, and I feel like, bad, I had, but... I had the highest hopes for that one. I thought that was going to be my number really? one. Really? Bib and Tucker? Yes. Yeah. I know you were excited to, to, to try yeah. it, but... Um, you know, I'm it was always, a letdown, and because I, I think it's also like fifty, sixty dollars. Yeah, it's not cheap. Yeah, no, yeah, that's I mean, ridiculous. I think the best find in this, like you said, the diamond in the rough, is actually the Hotel Tango. No doubt about it. Twenty or thirty bucks? Are you not, kidding me? It's my number is, three. There is no doubt about it. Yeah. Okay, so my rankings: number <laughs> one probably doesn't come as any surprise. It's the Knob Creek Twelve. Mm -hmm. My God. I really think it, it just took off the table yeah. like a fucking rocket. Yeah. I don't know why I went that way. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, Rocket Man was in my head. I mean, okay. anymore, I feel like if someone says Knob Creek, I'm dropping trout. Yeah. Right it's, away. Listen. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
We literally we have we have to do a Knob Creek tasting because I think uh, yes. I think it's distillery is really coming up in my rankings. So good. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, number two, Old Elk. Uh, no surprise. Mm-hmm. I mean, of course, I'm going to be biased. I'm going to. You were very excited about this. Well, one. Well, I was. Yeah. You know, smooth caramel oak toffee. Yeah. The I mean, toffee is what sold me. Yeah. Uh, number three. I put the tango. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Diamond in the fucking rough. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad you had it there. I thought I was going to be, everybody was going to think nope. I was crazy. Nope. Number, uh, uh, number four. I got to, I got to flip the second sheet. <laughs> easy, easy, easy now, Tiger. <laughs> That's the best one you've ever done. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a few birds here. <laughs> Okay, wait, Steve, we one? only did six. <laughs> Heavens! It looks like you have at least eight written. I know, down I know. <laughs> I don't know what the other. All right, two so are. number four is straight edge. You're putting that over the maker's mark. Yes. Okay. Okay. I I respect that. I thought the straight edge was actually yeah, pretty really good. good. Yeah, I respect really it. good. Yeah, it's good. Um, and and not knowing the price point. Uh, I want to say forty to fifty. Okay, it's a good price point. It's not I bad. Yeah. yeah, it's not bad. Number five, um, Bib and Tucker. I don't like the name, but I'll I'll drink the bourbon. You're Bib and you're, Tucker. You're, you're putting Maker's Mark last. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. I number with the, six. With the way you talked at the end, I thought it was actually going to be up there nope. for you. I put it first. <laughs> <laughs> you did put it first. It's last. I for thought me. it was good. So like, I mean, I had it four. Like very high in proof. Like that's the highest one we had, right? But we def me and Steve both we both felt that it had the alcohol on the finish for sure. It was right. There. So right, if there's right. anybody that knows higher proof bourbons and what they should be, it's Dave and I. And, and, and I mean, sure. I'm not saying that to be conceited. I mean, no, we just drink a lot of big boy bourbon. It's no, no, the no. truth. Yeah. You, and that is not a big boy bourbon that that demands that. No. I mean, you you put that up against the uh, uh, Ocean Voyage 21. Not even close. You mm-hmm. put that up against E.H. Taylor. 1920. Not even close. 1920. Not even close. Right. Stag Jr. Not even so, close. No. Weller I Antique 107. Think... Go, the list goes on and on. Right. I didn't think that this would like uh, this one tasted the best. I just put it number one because I figured how high of a proof it was. I thought it was still pretty good. You thought it was pretty smooth for how high the proof yeah, was. Right. Yeah. I can. So, I can understand. So that. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Well, and everybody, and, and you know, everybody. One of the reasons me and Steve like to do this is because we like when everybody has a difference of opinion, and we think it'll be fun eventually for people to be like, "Man, my tastes align with Steve's. My tastes align with Brady's. My st-, right, and so on and so forth. Right. And and they can kind of like gear themselves, like you know what, I'm going to look for that bottle because Steve really liked it, and we're usually on the same page, you know. So yeah. right. I mean, we've. I mean, fuck. Manny hates 1910. I think that's insane. Yeah. But he oh hates my God. it. I, that's yeah. that, <laughs> Love. that yeah, is one right. of my favorite bourbons of all time. I, so I, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> it's so, so good. Yeah, no. Fuck Manny for real. Like, he, like, like he should <laughs> not be on here. now, Tiger. He said he should not be on here. <laughs> Manny, no, no, no. Manny, no, no, no. we still I love like you. Manny. <laughs> I like Manny a lot. Oh, Obviously, man. he should be on here multiple times again. <laughs> he, he def- but he I don't understand how he can't like that bourbon. It's so weird. There was somebody else who doesn't like it. BJ. Yeah. BJ, BJ doesn't like it at all. Hates it. Hates it too. Like Him he, and Manny both hate it. BJ talks about it like it's like the worst bourbon in the world. Yeah. I'm like, like BJ, listen. It. I, I might, okay, you're talking I'm, about this right here. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So... Bring it out. Bring it out. Yeah. So I'm talking to BJ, and I'm like, listen, BJ, if you keep talking bad about 1910, I can't be friends with you. <laughs> yeah, you got to just. He was like, okay, it's not that bad. Just got to slow it down. He also, tried, he also lying, was talking man. down on Blanton's. Oh, I know. BJ, we love you, brother. Easy <laughs> love. now. <laughs> Easy now. No, no, no. I do like BJ a lot. Yeah, BJ's awesome. Easy like now, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I think the Tiger. takeaway, <laughs> I think the takeaways from this are, uh, even though it only made it into two Tiger. of our number ones, uh, Knob Creek is doing an amazing job. They're gonna keep. I, I'm excited to see what they come up with next. I think the diamond in the rough is the hotel tangle. There is tangle. no doubt. Again, tangle hotel tango. Absolutely. Tango, uh, Dave. I'm telling you, man. 27? Are you serious? I think it's between 20 and 30 bucks. Honest to God. I really believe that. And and, and that's the beauty of us doing what we're doing because yeah. that that's a is fucking steal. 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 Yeah. I would I would easily pay 40, 50. I might even go higher. I don't know. If it was at least 50. I would at least go 50. Yeah. 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 It's it's excellent. Uh yeah, see if you can find the MSRP yeah. on that real quick. My mother. And <laughs> you got anything on there? Do, 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 My mother and your mother. It says forty. I'm pretty sure it was cheaper. At, this is uh, from the hotel. This is from their website. From their website. Yeah. I swear it was cheaper, bucks. but still forty bucks. I'm happy with it. So not maybe. I not, mean, I don't like. The, I don't like the label. I no. don't yeah. like everything about That's it. That's why I thought it. Was but I'll tell bad. you what. Yeah, but you know what they 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 prove that it, the label doesn't mean Pretty everything, good. man. Right, it's, right, because it's excellent. All right, well, I think that's it, huh? Yep. All right. I mean, crap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't want to wrap it up. I, you want to wrap it up? I mean, I don't. You know that, but I know somebody who does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She, Took her a while. She wants to come so bad, and then she's like, "Can we get the fuck out of here?" <laughs> Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, I think they've earned God. their Taco Bell, Pam. Yeah, I Swenson. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> I swear I don't work for them. All oh, right. Well, Swenson's is good. Hey, uh, this may one may I don't have no idea. I don't even want to know. Maybe shorter than the other ones, which is fine. Uh, I had a great time, Brady. Thank you for coming on. It's awesome. It was an absolute this is pleasure. Like a, yeah. I hope I didn't like. I hope I can. I can come on again. Oh yeah! No, absolutely. no, 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 no! You're done. He's done with the old. He's that old elk. You're done. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I. Yeah. I, I would like this. I would like. Uh, I would like to do another episode. Even uh, actually, is Jake old enough to drink? Yes. Oh, perfect. He, yes, it, he just, just barely. Just barely. <laughs> he needs and and, and uh, I, I'll tell you right now, he's gonna be jealous of his brother because he, he is he is dying to get on here. Yeah. So next time you guys are both in town, let's try to even if it's not uh, even if it's not on our normal uh, uh, every two week period, yeah, let's yeah. let's go ahead and make it happen because okay. who knows when they'll both be in town. I yeah. think that'd be a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, be a blast! All right, Steve, love you, brother. Love you too. All right, man, we're out. <laughs>